Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Come on in. Come on in. I see 25 of you. And hardly anybody gave a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Maurice Dunkley, hello. Thomas Smith, how are you? Oh, let me get nice and comfortable. How's everybody doing today? Come on in, say hello. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Andre, hello. Debbie Parker, thank you. How are you? And Sonia, how are you? Mo over there, hello. Shannon, Andre, Brandy, Kimberly, Julie, Debbie Altman, hello. John Graves, Patricia, Valencia, D. Uh, Delia, hopefully I said that name right. Brandy, I love you. <laughs> Brandy says, I love you. So happy to be here. Hey, I love you too, and I'm so grateful that you are here. Sylvia, that's a different way to spell that name. How are you today? Thank you for coming in. David, hello. Hello to everybody coming on in. Everybody give a thumbs up on the way in. If you have not done so, back out. Back out to give a thumbs up. And then come back in. Lisa K, hello. Maurice, hello. I, oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie says, I love your channel. Hey, listen, I love you. You have been watching since 2017, and I am so grateful to have you watching. So thank you. Maggie, hello. Shauna, hello. Rose, hello, David Folly. Can you give me a paper towel? As soon as the camera turns on, something always happens. Well, my eye is watering, but you guys that are familiar with me, you know, I got watery eyes. Little bit, how are you? You know what, Valencia? I think that's Valencia. Yeah, I'm feeling great today. And I am so thankful to God that I have the energy. I feel well. Um, today is a beautiful day. I'm so happy my house is clean. My husband cleaned the house. And it's so clean. It smells fresh in here. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make a delicious recipe with you guys. You can see the babies in the back. You see them? I made a nice little pallet for them on the couch. And they are just really enjoying themselves today. You can see Prince over there. He's trying to get comfortable. He's doing all he can to get comfortable. <laughs> thank you, Debbie. Lynn, thank you. God bless you also. So how's everybody doing? I know you guys are excited. You're excited for this meatball sub recipe, right? I tell you what, I got a few tricks up my hand, up my sleeve for this recipe. This recipe can be used in meatball uh, spaghetti or meatball subs so if you have meatballs left over you know for tomorrow or later on tonight listen make you up some spaghetti noodles and pour that right over top of some spaghetti okay it's gonna be delicious let me see what's happening okay is it working or it's not working okay give a thumbs up to the live thank you Sonia we're gonna have a great day today Sonia, I did want to let you know that um, Ron is not going to be here. I, I, I don't know if you remember him saying he couldn't be here today because he had a funeral. But if we all today, if we all can just think about Ron, you know, we love him so much. Um, and uh, we can't wait to see him on, I think it's Thursday. We'll see him on Thursday. Hello, Victoria. Tracy, hello. Charlene Bell says, hi, y'all. <laughs> How you doing out there? How's everybody doing? What we're going to do, I, Eula, hello. What we're going to do, um, everybody is very, hi, Raymond. Everybody is so, so, so stinking excited for this recipe. But we need to wait a few minutes for some people to come in here, okay? A lot of people have to you know, get their kids situated, get the dogs fed, do whatever they need to do before they come to the live. So we'll give them a few minutes, and then after that, we're going to get started. Joseph, how are you? 
Cynthia Robinson says, hey guys, I missed your last live, but watch the replay. But I'm here now, says Alyssa Wooten. Well, welcome, welcome back. Alyssa Wooten has been watching the channel forever and a day, and I am so grateful to have Welcome to all of the um, returning subscribers. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And welcome to all of the new subscribers. I love you guys too. Once you come in Gina Young's live, you are trapped. <laughs> There's no getting away from me. We're family now, okay? Miss B, hello. Little bit says, Gina, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing great today. And I'm so thankful that I have a burst of energy. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Um, and I feel well. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. And you know, I, um, let me see. Yeah, that's fine. You can go ahead and send that out. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, was Ron Wilson the one who wanted meatball subs? Yeah. He was the one, but he had a funeral to go to. So we'll just think about him. And I'm pretty sure he's going to watch the replay. Um, so maybe you guys can just tell him in the chat, you know, that you miss him. You know, can't wait to see him next week, you know. <coughs> oh, you went on a, a train ride with your family. Steam engine back in time. Oh, Alan, that sounds like so much fun. My goodness. Where are the ingredients listed? Well, Christy, the ingredients were listed, and they still are listed in the community tab. And the community tab is in the top of my channel banner. And right there, you will find the playlist. You will find videos. You will find my store. And then, uh, lo and behold, you also would find the community tab if you click on it. It'll show all of the things that I like to keep you guys updated with, whether that's ingredients or times that we're going to go live or just something simple as me saying, hey, guys, I'm sick, you know. So that's where you would find that. And so I'm going to show you something. That's a great question. A lot of people don't know where the community tab is. When you go to Gina Young's channel, I'm going to show you real quick. This is Gina Young's channel. You know that, right? And you can see where it says home, videos, playlist but right there guess what it says community you click on that baby right there and here's everything you need and right in this one is where i put all the ingredients for you i do it every week okay oh thank you guys for um the prayers for ron wilson absolutely yes tracy i can say a prayer for florida Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, we pray, Lord, that you bless over Florida and that you keep them safe. No weapons formed against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, please bless over their houses, their belongings, their, their, their family, and their lives in Jesus Christ's name. Keep them safe. Help them to find somewhere safe to be right now during the storm. And we know that with God on our side, this too shall pass. And we thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering this prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, listen, let me ask you guys, just a couple of you, how many, uh, I, I didn't know about the floods in Florida, Mary. I, I didn't even know until she just told me. Um, how many of you are cooking with me, Paula? How are you? Um how many of you are cooking with me if you're cooking with me give me a red heart in the comment section so i can get an idea of who all is going to be cooking with me dakota if you can go to the laundry room get me one of my uh black aprons please okay let me see who's cooking with me so i have like sort of an idea okay i see kimberly and it uh, looks like raymond is cooking with us okay california girl all right, Maddie, all right. It's a bad hurricane, okay. Yeah, we pray that you guys are gonna be safe. And God hears and answers prayers. Stephanie and Queen and K Coffee and Special K, this is so exciting, okay. You're just watching, that's okay, Alan. You can just watch and chat with us, you know, and then after we cook, we're gonna sit down and chat for the rest of the evening. You know, Tandria is cooking. 
Okay, this is great. Okay, I'm happy. So we're gonna have a big turnout today. You have coleslaw, oh, you got coleslaw on the side, I love it. You might wanna look in the basket, there's a basket, look on top of the dryer, in the dryer. Sonia, are you cooking with me, okay? I'm just watching, says Shauna. Okay, I can't wait to cook. All right, how about we give it a good five minutes and then we get started. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Prayers for Florida, thank you, Chanel. Watching at the hospital with your sister. Okay, Jackie, I hope that everything is okay. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you so much. I'm just watching too, says Valencia. Oh, that's just fine. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, we're gonna get started. Thank you, Sonia. Eula says, I'm just watching. That's okay, no problem. Hello from Kentucky, says Roxanne. Hi, how are you? What is it? Where'd it come from? Huh? Is it wet? Is it dry? Throw it in the dryer on quick. And um, once you turn it on quick, I'll put another apron on. And then maybe uh, in a good 10 minutes, I'll switch aprons. Roxanne says, I'm fine. How are you? Okay, I'm doing okay. Thank you. By the grace of God. What else are we cooking with the meatball subs? We're making meatball subs. <laughs> that's all we're making. I got some chips on the side. I will be making up some Kool-Aid, but that's about it. <laughs> this live is showing you how to make a delicious meatball sub. You know, a lot of people don't know how to make meatballs, and I'm going to show you how to do it today, okay? I feel like when you have meatballs, all you, uh, meatball sub, all you really need is some french fries or some chips. You know, you could have a salad if you wanted to, but... I'm just checking in, says Dorothea. Okay, well, thank you for checking in. I'm going to stand up and put my apron on, and then we'll make our way behind the counter, get our hands cleaned up. Spaghetti sauce, says Stonk. I think Stonk Mark. Um, now, it's just me. It, it could just be me. Um, but... Uh, I like to use spaghetti sauce. Now... In the past, I have absolutely used marinara sauce. That's why in the uh, uh, community tab, I put, you can use spaghetti sauce or you can use two bottles of uh, marinara sauce. Either one that you decide to use is gonna do perfect, okay? Because I'm gonna show you how to season it and make it taste good, okay? All right, let me get my apron on. I see people are saying, welcome, Ron. Is Ron here? Oh, we are so glad you made it. Hey, how are you? We're glad you made it. <laughs> What'd you say? The ingredients in the description. Yeah, I told them the ingredients are in the description. Okay, so what my son just did, uh-oh, you need to make sure you put the right ingredients. Hold on, guys. I want to send y'all somewhere. He didn't do the right thing. Okay, so what he did, you are, okay, great, in the description of this live. So if you go to the bottom of this live, he put the ingredients down there for you, okay? So if you were that person and you couldn't find the community tab, ingredients are right there for you. Go ahead and write them down, okay? Or, you know, take a screenshot of them. I'm going to go ahead and you're going to hear where... The volume kind of goes in and out real quick because I'm going to put my microphone on. Okay, it's only going to take two seconds. I don't want to buy a freaking ad on me. I'm going to lose sound and then the sound will come right back in like right about now. We're good. Um, Horace, 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 Horace. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Three hundred and thirty-one. Okay, yeah. All right, give a thumbs up. You might need to back out for a second to give a thumbs up and then come back in. It's very important that you make the 
thumbs up match with the people that are in here. So if we have 340 people in here and we only have 221 thumbs up, that means some people didn't give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up because Gina's going to be working her butt off trying to show y'all how to make some meatball subs. And we're going to have a fun time doing it. Okay? Thank you, Raymond. Do you like green peppers in your sauce, says Thunk. I do. I totally do. Um, but I'm not doing that today. I will be putting some onion in, though. How about that? Now, the onion is not going to go in my sauce, but the onion is, is going to be um, in our meatballs, okay? If you want. But if you're that person that doesn't want to put it in there, don't do it. You can put it in your sauce, okay? So now, um, can you take that over there? Plug it up so I'll have it right there in front of me available. Okay, we're turning the camera around like right about now. Go ahead. Can everybody hear me? Thank you guys for welcoming Ron back in. Thank you all. That means so much to me. All right, I'm going to try to give you all the best picture so you guys can see and you're saying loud and clear, okay, great. <clears throat> I think I'll get me a nice glass of ice water before we get started. I can't have that cord in front of me, that cord will trip me, see that? The cord's always got to be, okay, all right, that's my helper, that's Dakota, <laughs> that's Mr. Dakota, that's our son, okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands up, um, if you need to wash your hands, let's go ahead and do that, get your nice apron on so you don't get all messy. Get them hands impeccably clean. Oh yeah, the dogs are sleeping. The dogs are sleeping. I'm only using two pounds of the hamburger. I feel like when you use two pounds, it gives you like the perfect amount. You know, to where you and your family members can go back and get some more uh, meatball subs. And then also um, to where you might have a little bit of meatballs and sauce left over for noodles to go underneath it. You can have spaghetti and meatballs tomorrow, okay? Now that my hands are impeccably clean, the first thing I want to do is grab a nice glass of ice water so I can keep my palate nice and cleansed. You're going to hear the ice maker real quickly. Okay, that's enough, that's enough of that. <laughs> that thing was going to give me a little too much ice. I tell you what, listen everybody. Remember the other day I made a pineapple upside down cake. I just have to step in real quickly and say how stinking good my pineapple upside down cake was. And when I tell you it was good, listen, here. Knock you right off your socks, you hear me? I got a little bit left over and... Um, I, I feel like we're going to eat all of that uh, pineapple upside down cake. So now I'm going to go over the ingredients. The one ingredient that I don't have out is uh, milk. Okay. So now you will need burger, any kind of ground meat. I will be using an 80-20 ground beef. You can mix ground beef and ground turkey. You can use a ground chicken. You can mix them all together or just use one or just use two together. I'm just using straight ground beef, okay? You're going to need either marinara sauce, two cans, or your favorite spaghetti sauce. And that's what I have here, which is the prego. Excuse me, you will need an onion. And the onion will be going into the meatballs. If you don't want to put onion into your meatballs, feel free to put some onion into your sauce, okay? So it's kind of however you're feeling, okay? 
both ways is delicious. We have some breadcrumbs. Any kind of breadcrumbs you want to use uh, would be great, okay? We do have some Parmesan cheese. We have mozzarella cheese and Swiss cheese. Um, but really, I just have to step in real quick and say this. Any kind of cheese you want to use for a good old meatball sub is just fine, okay? You may not want to use Swiss. You know, it just might not fit your palate. And if that's the case, use what kind of cheese you love, okay? You're going to need some sub buns. So we have some beautiful sub buns here. One of them, I have a hot dog bun because I like to make meatball subs using hot dog bun. And then I have some mini sub buns. We have some beautiful spices here, which is our garlic powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper, and salt. And what I'm gonna do for you all today is something really, really, really special, is there may be some people out there that their oven doesn't work or their oven gives them some issues. I'm gonna show you how to cook your meatballs in a skillet, okay? And in this skillet, you can see that I barely have any oil in it. It's just a little bit, just to coat the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna be putting maybe five or six meatballs in here to show you, just in case you don't wanna cook your meatballs in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to do it on top of the stove and then uh, we put them in the sauce, okay? But how I'm gonna be cooking these meatballs, we're, once we get them nice and balled up, they get thrown into the oven, okay, 350 degrees, all right? And when they're done, we'll be putting them in sauce. How you doing? Are you guys ready? Patricia says, I'm here now. Welcome. Yes, any kind of cheese. Thank you, Sonia. Yes, it does. That's a great question, says Raymond. Raymond says, does the breadcrumbs help to hold it together? It does. But then listen, there I, I just have to apologize really quickly because I forgot to tell you all that we will be using an egg if you're that person that you say, oh crap, Gina, I don't have an egg because you forgot to tell us. It's okay, it'll turn out delicious as well and it'll hold together, okay? All right? So, so don't freak out on me right there. We're, we're all good. All right, I'm going to uh, push some of my spices back this way so I have them and I'm going to open them up. That Italian seasoning is going to give us some great flavors. 350 degrees. Thank you, Sonia. I'll go ahead and turn my oven on now. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> when I forget, you guys remember. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's great. Okay. So now, first thing that we're going to do is we need to, I'm going to grab, you can use any egg, and it's just going to be one egg, okay? And we are going to use some milk. Now, a lot of you may say, what the heck is the milk going to do? The milk is going to make sure that your meatballs are nice and tender, and it also binds up with that beautiful, um, uh, 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 breadcrumbs and it helps to bind it together okay and like I said please feel free don't don't you worry for one second if you don't have that one egg because the milk and the breadcrumbs will definitely hold it together okay all right so now I want to get a cup out because um, in my cup I just want to put a little bit of milk okay and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to chop up our onion, okay? God is good always, says Edith. You bet. All right, I'm going to grab that egg, and I'm also going to grab some milk. How much milk, Gina? Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to show you because I ain't going to measure. <laughs> Look at that, just a little bit. Not a whole lot. You'll need a whole lot, okay? That's not a lot at all. And I'm grabbing one egg out the refrigerator. I might sound a little echoed because my whole body is in the refrigerator. <laughs> all right. Dakota, can you get me a bowl, a mixing bowl, please? A clear white bowl? That's definitely something that I forgot to get. 
Oh, you're fine. Just keep it on me. You're fine. All right. I actually like that type of view. Okay. <laughs> you're getting me from here up. I like that. <laughs> All right. So now, oh, but you can't see my cutting board. What are you doing there? Oh, okay. He doesn't want to be in the camera. So he's moved the camera. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm looking at myself like, yeah, I like that view, but we can't see the cutting board. One second, he's going to grab my uh, clear bowl, and we're going to get started, okay? I am going to debling myself a little bit so I don't have jewelry on. Thank you. Got a nice bowl here. All right, you fix that camera back. Today is going to be a great Saturday. Happy Saturday to each and every one of you guys. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. All right, come on down. Let's do this. Let's get back in there. I'm waiting on the camera, and we're ready. Okay. So now, first thing we're going to do, let's cut up a little bit of onion. If you are the person that does not want onion in your meatballs, no worries. If you want to put it into your sauce, you put some in your sauce, okay? Either way, it'll be delicious, okay? I love to put a very, uh, I'm going to use not even half of this, a small amount of onion, okay? Small amount of onion gives your meatballs beautiful taste, okay? Trust me on this. So let me show you how much we're going to use. Look at this right here. Just that little bit, yes, just that little bit, that's all we need. So let's go ahead and chop it up, and let's chop it up nice and fine. We don't want big, huge pieces in our meatballs, okay? Nice, fine pieces. Hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side, okay? We're going to have a great Saturday here at the Young's house. All right, so now that I have the onion nice and minced up, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this onion and I'm going to put it in my bowl, okay? But I'm going to run my knife through it a couple of times so we can make sure that the pieces are somewhat small. You know, it doesn't have to be tiny, but I'm just really emphasizing that I want for you to try your best to get it small. Okay, so now I'm bringing my bowl into the equation. And I'm throwing the onions right in. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a run for it. <laughs> I'm running to that sink to wash my hands so that my eyes don't cry. Woo, you guys know how me and onions are. Oh, my goodness. It's a love-hate relationship. They always make me cry, but I love some good old onions. All right? I'm running. <laughs> I'm going to go wash my hands so I don't cry. I'll be right back in 0.2 seconds. <laughs> I love you guys. I can literally see y'all laughing at me. I can see y'all laughing at me. It's funny because I, I know I'm saying I can see y'all. You know, I can't see you, but there is one person that came on one time to one of my lives and said, can you, can you see me, Gina? And I said, no. <laughs> I mean, I can see your picture. You know, your YouTube picture, but I, you know, your Google picture, but I can't see you. You know, they were just like, they didn't know because they'd never been on a live before. And I thought that was so cute. So now, got some onions cut up and it was just a little tiny bit, right? Let's go ahead and open up our meat. You may be using turkey and ground beef. You may be using chicken. You may just be using beef like I'm using today. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. All right. If you guys are ready, somebody say we're ready. We can move on, get started making up some meatballs, Gina Young style. Now here is where it starts to get, oh, and you're going to need your uh, fresh parsley. I did put that in the description. Um, if you guys are ready to start mixing up some meatballs, say we're ready. I'm going to look at the comments. Ready, ready, ready. Everybody's saying, ready, Freddie. Hi, Derek. How are you? Susie Q and Miss Karen, how are you? Okay, so everybody's ready. Let's do this first. 
Here's how this is going to work. We're going to season our hamburger or, you know, whatever kind of burger you're using. All right? And I want you to season vigorously. When it comes to the salt, if you're that person that doesn't want to use salt, absolutely it's fine, okay? I promise. Or if you want to back up a little bit on the salt, just use a little bit, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's go in with some salt. And you're going to see, we're going to bring the camera close so you see how much I use. Salt going in. All right, nice and steady. Black pepper going in. We do have chopped up onions underneath there. And we're going to put some garlic powder, and guess what? We're not going to be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. We're going to put some Italian seasoning. Okay? But more than anything, I really want to emphasize this Italian seasoning going into our sauce. Okay? So that's our seasonings for now. <clears throat> All right? So what you should have done right now is chopped up a small amount of onion. Beautiful seasonings went in. Okay? And now I want to crack one egg right on top of this baby, okay? Just, just one egg. All right, how about we do it together? One nice, beautiful, fresh egg. How about it? Oh, yeah. Okay? And then we're going to go in. We're gonna, I'm going to um, measure out one cup a little under one cup, it is under one cup of my breadcrumbs. And it doesn't matter if you don't have this type of breadcrumb, any kind of breadcrumb, trust me, we'll do the trick, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna do is we will be grabbing out our fresh parsley, okay? So now, let's put half of the breadcrumbs right in here, okay? This is a little under a, a, a whole cup, you can see. It's not a whole cup, but let's put half of that in there. Okay, we good? All right. Now, we're going to put a little bit of milk. Come in, and we're going to put that milk right on top, just like so. That's, that's just a little bit, okay? It's not even a half a cup, okay? So, what I want to do right now is I want to grab my beautiful fresh parsley, and we're going to chop some fresh parsley. It, you know, you guys never, ever see me use fresh parsley in any recipe, frankly, because I don't like it. But when I make a meatball, uh, you have to have parsley, fresh parsley, in meatballs. And it's delicious. And I even like it, even though I don't like fresh parsley. So get your parsley out. We're going to chop just a little tiny handful and throw it in here because it needs it. Just a little bit, that's all you need. A little teeny weeny 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 bit. Now I am going to rinse this off in my um, sink because sometimes your fresh parsley when you purchase it, it may have a little bit of sand, a little bit of mud in it. Give it a nice rinse and we're just going to take off just a little tiny bit in our fingertips and, and chop it up. Give it a nice rinse, nothing too special. You don't need to unbundle it or anything, you know. And so when I bring it back through, I'm going to have a paper towel underneath it so I don't make a huge mess, you know, with that wet parsley. Let me show you. See, got a paper towel under it. And let me show you. When I say just take a pinch off, look at that. About that much. How about that? Just a little bit. Great flavor there. You hear me? Trust me. When I tell you that fresh parsley gives a meatball some good flavor, ooh, talk about good. You hear me? My family loves my meatballs. You hear me? Now, and there's another ingredient that we will be putting in, which is very, very interesting. We're going to be putting Parmesan cheese into our meatballs, and then it'll be time to roll our meatballs up. How about it? Okay, I'm going to look at everybody and make sure you guys are doing okay. If for some reason, let's just say, for some reason you are that person that didn't get fresh parsley. I don't want you to freak out because guess what you can use? You can use some dried parsley 
and uh, just know that it'll be delicious, okay? Because I always like to give options because there's always somebody that accidentally made a mistake and maybe they read, you know, maybe they thought we were using dried. So if you're that person, don't freak out. Just use some dried parsley and we're gonna move on, okay? No stressing out in Jeannie Young's kitchen. All right, put your parsley on. And then we're gonna grab our uh, Parmesan cheese. We're going to go to mix everything together. I'm going to look over at the comments to see if everybody is okay. And if you all are ready to put the Parmesan on and make up some meatballs, Gina Young style. All right, I always use dried parsley. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, Sheila says thumbs up because I can't find the icon. Okay, that's okay, honey. Thank you for coming in, Sheila. We appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Can't wait to do the meatballs, okay? All right, so now, when it comes to the Parmesan cheese, whether you got fresh, whether you got shredded, or the kind in the shaker bottle, just get you some in there. Well, Gina, well, how much? <laughs> you guys, they, listen, there's like a whole slew of people in, in, in my comment section all the time that says, Gina, I hate. Listen, I get people emailing me saying, Gina, I hate when you talk in third person. And you know what I say to that? Well, you're just going to have to hate it because I love talking in third person. <laughs> I just like to answer you all's question before you ax it. Because <laughs> I know you're going to ax it. <laughs> all right, so watch how much. If we can get a close up, I will show you how much Parmesan. Just kind of cover that top. Just like so. How about it? Okay. All right, so now it's time. The time has come. The time has come. It's time to make up some meatballs. We're going to go right in with our hands. We're going to have a fun time doing it, okay? So if you need to take a drink of water, like I do. Ah. Ooh, that was so refreshing. My goodness. I got this microphone so close. You, you guys probably heard every gulp going down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Go in right with your hands, making sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's do this together, okay? Keep in mind that you can go in with a, a spoon or a fork, you know, a wooden spoon, whatever you'd like to do. Me personally, when I'm making up a meatloaf or I'm making up meatballs or something of the such, I like to use my hands. Really, I do. It doesn't bother me because guess what? When we're all done, when this is all said and done, I can always wash my hands, you know? You don't want to handle this too much because then it'll be tough, but we're not going to handle it too much. So the main object of what we're doing right now is to get it nice, well incorporated, all the ingredients. Okay? Once you have everything well incorporated, then you decide. It's up to you. Excuse me. It's up to you all to decide how big do I want my meatballs. There are people out there that want their meatballs this big. And if you want yours that big, hey, it's okay. But if you want yours this small, it's okay. Make them the size that you want. But I'm going to show you how I like to make mines. I like mines medium, okay? Not too big, not too small, okay? Let me show you. But you really want to kind of not pack it so much. When you pack it so much, they get tough and hard. Just, just a nice roll. And once you have the desired size, then you put it on a baking dish. Okay, look at this. Come in close. Beautiful. How simple. You bet it was simple, okay? So now look at here. It's going right on there. Right on the little, uh, uh, what do we call it? Uh, what do we call it? Cookie sheet. <laughs> All right, so let's do this together. Okay, so D Saturday says meatballs in mini, in mini ball form. Absolutely you can. Make them teeny tiny, make them huge if you want. Okay. 
I just kind of like to make mine's medium. All right, and so like I said, what I'm gonna do for the people that may not have an oven, because I understand all circumstances. Gina Young understands any circumstance that could come up. And that's why I'm gonna show you all um, how to even make the meatballs on the stove if you have to, okay? So if you're that person, you're gonna put a teeny tiny bit of oil in your pan, and just a frying pan, a shallow frying pan, I'm gonna show you how to fry them babies up, okay? It's nothing scary either. We're not deep frying it, so you're not gonna have oil popping all over the place, nothing like that. Just a little bit of oil to coat the bottom of the pan, and we just keep shaking our pan throughout that cooking process until, believe it or not, until the meatballs get brown on all sides, and once that happens, you throw it in your sauce. How simple, but, if you don't want to do that and you don't want to stand over the stove like most people don't want to, um, throw it on a cookie sheet in the oven for around about 25 minutes and then they get brown on all sides. You don't even have to flip them. You don't have to turn them or do anything when they're in the oven. And they get done inside out, okay? How's everybody doing? Yes, a bacon tray. <laughs> I always call these cookie sheets. I, I don't, I never say baking tray, but it is a baking tray, cookie sheet, <laughs> AKA cookie sheet, you know? All right, now, sometimes there has been times where I have made meatballs and I looked and I thought, okay, wait a minute here. I got a little bit of extra meat than I really wanted. What you can do is you can turn, if you decide you don't want this many meatballs, then you turn around and make some hamburger patties and put them in freezer bags, and then tomorrow you fry you some hamburgers and it'll be delicious. Or you can take and make you a little tiny meatloaf. You bet you can. Make you a little tiny meatloaf and throw that baby in the oven. How about it? How about it? There's always ways to improvise on leftovers or something, you know? Okay, I love to make meatballs, but I have a picky eater. Oh my goodness, okay. I tell you what, if you make these meatballs for your picky eater and you tell them this is Gina Young style recipe and they taste it and they love it, you let me know. You let me know because I've made these meatballs for kids. I've made these meatballs for teenagers and adults that are picky. And guess what? They love them. <laughs> you bet they do. They love them. All right, so now we all should be um, putting meatballs together just like so in this manner and quite naturally it, it's not a hard job quite naturally is that what I wanted to say <laughs> that's not Dakota said no that's not what you wanted to say quite frankly <laughs> how about that yes Derek Eads you can make the meatballs any size you want Heck, you can make them this size, the size of, um, no, seriously, I'm, I'm serious when I say this. When I say you can make them this small, you can make them that small and put them into a wedding soup. Have you all ever had a wedding soup? A wedding soup is beautiful. It has like a clear broth. It has little teeny tiny meatballs going through it, and it's so stinking delicious. And they are teeny tiny, like the size of M&Ms. Gina has hoagie buns. Okay, so let me tell you, let's talk about it. I have many sub buns, okay? But then I also have some top sliced hot dog buns, okay? And you know what, just to be honest, I just have to be real and honest with you guys. Sometimes if we don't have buns or sub buns at the house, guess what we'll do? We'll put the meatballs between two pieces of bread and enjoy it. Like we'll stack the pieces of bread on top of each other like this and then throw meatballs down the middle. Oh, talk about good, listen. And sometimes my family likes to eat these meatballs just with the fork, <laughs> especially when I make the barbecue meatballs. Okay, she loved your chicken fried steak recipe I made. I'm going to try the meatballs next week. Okay, that's great. Okay. I tell you what I want you to try for her, the picky eater, the picky eater. <laughs> I hope you're watching this. No. <laughs> well, here's what I want her to try. I want her to try my linguine pasta salad. Can you make that for her? 
make the linguine pasta salad um, and let me know how she likes it, okay? Let me know how she likes that. I know that I totally have um, two hand towels that are behind me and they're blowing like the wind blows. It's because um, Dakota decided that he wanted to turn the fan off of himself and now he's got my beautiful fall, my, my new fall kitchen towels that I was so proud of. He's got them blowing in the wind like they're getting ready to fly away. Yeah. I'm sure they're good on hot dog buns too. Oh, you bet they are, seriously. Okay. Like I said, um, you're gonna have meatballs left over enough to where you can boil up a pound of uh, spaghetti noodles. Okay, yeah. And uh, you just turn around and heat your meatballs and sauce up the next day. Put some nice spaghetti at the bottom of your plate Pour that sauce and the meatballs right over top of them noodles, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, and you got dinner for tomorrow, okay? So now, if you are just one person in your family, let's just say it's just one of you or two of you, and you feel like this is enough meatballs, well, you take this and make it into hamburger patties, put it in a freezer bag, okay? Or take this and make it into a mini meatloaf, you hear me? Uh, we don't waste nothing here at the Young's house. A lot of people like to ask me, oh my goodness, Gina, what are you getting ready to do with the leftovers? Or what did you do with this and that? Just know, I want the world to know that we don't waste nothing. Okay? So just know that. Those meatballs look so good, says Mary Jane. Well, thank you. I'm making up a lot for the three of us here because, like I said, the next day or even tonight, I'm making up a pound of uh, spaghetti noodles. Ron, I hope you are enjoying this life today. You wanted the meatballs, and here we are. Look at us. We're here in the flesh, and we're making meatballs just for you and your family and for the whole world as well. <laughs> yes, we are. We're so glad that we could make these meatballs. Okay? So now, how many of you? Okay, Latika. Latika says, I'm on my way. Okay, Latika, I got the light on for you again. I turn the light on every day for Latika, and she never comes. <laughs> Latika never gets over here. She says, I'm on my way, Gina. <laughs> Anytime I'm making up something good. <laughs> okay, can I use box stuff mix in a place of breadcrumbs? Says I Corp. You bet you can. And guess what? It would be so stinking delicious. Guess what? Because it's going to bring some great flavor. And it's just like using breadcrumbs because it's breadcrumbs. And if it's already seasoned, that's even better. Okay? So now I'm almost done making up my meatballs. Is there anybody that's done making meatballs up? Or are we still rolling them together? Hi, Gina, this is Ella. Would you be doing some recipes for Thanksgiving? Ella, you bet I am. I'm going to do every recipe that you and I could ever imagine. That is from pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, a green bean casserole, I'm going to show you guys how to make homemade dinner rolls, homemade yeast rolls. I'm going to show you how to make the turkey. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful ham with the pineapples, maraschino cherries, right? I'm showing you how to make collard greens. I'm showing you how to make a scalloped potatoes. Anything you can think about. If you love giblet gravy, Gina Young is the channel you want to be watching during the holiday because I'm showing you how to make even eggnog. Homemade eggnog, listen, here. Gina Young has got some tricks up her sleeves, and I'm ready to share it all with you guys. Love the hat, says one, one Catherine. Thank you. Thank you so much. My husband bought me this hat, and I said, oh, I like it. I said, but I don't know if I have anything to match it, you know. Uh, he said, I'm sure you do. He kind of looked at me, I'm sure you do, all, the, all them shirts you got. <laughs> and he knows that he bought them, so he knows that I had a shirt to match it. Gina, um, did you use, did you, hold, did you only use one half of the breadcrumbs from your cup? I only used one half. Yes, I did, that's a great question and thank you because I believe that I forgot to tell you all um, the measurement that I used. So it was just a half. 
and that's all we needed. Look, when you make a good meatball, and I do this with my salmon patties too, how do you know it's going to stick together and it's not going to fall apart? Well, listen, if you could do that, that baby going to stick together. It ain't going to fall apart in your pan, right? Okay. I'm done rolling. Okay, Gina, what's next, says y Yolita. Okay, Yolita, I'm getting ready to tell you, honey. Let me roll about eight more up, and I'm going to show you, baby. This looks fun. It is fun. Look, I just threw that. I just threw it. Uh, it is fun. Really, it is. And, you know, I find cooking so relaxing. When I met my husband, I, he found out that I love to cook and he was like, wait a minute here, you like to cook? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> he was so excited. And uh, when he first had started coming over my house, I had um, some, uh, I had baked up some baked chicken. I threw like a box of uh, rice aroni in it baked it all together, maybe with some cream of mushroom soup or something, I can't remember. I had some biscuits and something else, and he, 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 he smelled like the whole front door. When he opened the front door, he was like, man, it's smelling good in here. He was like, can you cook? And I, I was just thinking to myself, like, can I? Can I? <laughs> I was just, not to toot my own horn, you know, I was in toot toot, you know, but I was just thinking, you'll see. He'll see, he'll see, you know? And so that day, he tried the chicken that had the, um, the baked chicken, that had the rice aroni and the biscuits, and he was like, this is so good. He's like, this is homemade and yum, 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 and yummy some more. I don't know if you guys know the whole story about him asking me to marry him um, on our first Thanksgiving together. Our first Thanksgiving that we had together, he, he got down on one knee in the kitchen and he asked me, will you marry me? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. And it was so funny because like literally five minutes after that, my mom had called for something. And I had said, he just asked to marry me. I just told my mom over the phone. And you know, like on the cartoons where you can hear somebody screaming on the other end? She was like, what? Like, so that's what he was hearing. He was hearing her through the phone saying, what? <laughs> I was like, yes, he just asked to marry me. I made my first Thanksgiving dinner ever. I made all the fixings, and it was just me and him. And uh, he was like, hey, you, I got to marry this girl because... I ain't never seen nobody cook like this. I ain't never seen nobody cook like this for two people. All right, now, wash our hands. Get your hands washed up, because I'm going to show you all. I see the lady that is ready to keep moving on. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Wash our hands, OK? Go ahead, grab your spices, and also grab your marinara sauce or your spaghetti sauce, OK? Let's wash our hands up. Get your hands washed and dried. Yeah, but that, um, it, it, it was so funny to be able to show him uh, my cooking skills because it was almost as if, you know, when I told him I could cook, I don't know if he actually believed me. So I made it a point to show him in everyday life, <laughs> pretty much. Yes, I can cook. Yes, she can cook. Yes, you found the right one. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, so one day I turned around and I fried up some orange roughy fish for him. I got to come in the camera view for this. I fried up some orange roughy fish for him. I made some box macaroni and cheese and I made some corn. He was eating it. He was like, oh, this is so good. And this was like, we were very new and, you know, into our relationship. He was like, this is so good. And I, he was eating it. He was like, and I don't even like corn. <laughs> and I was like, yes, got it. <laughs> he was like, I don't even like corn. He was going all in. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but if you guys would like to hear more stories, I'll definitely tell you. Because I got a lot of stories. You know, 
We've been together since 97. Woo, that's a long time. You bet it is. So now that my hands are impeccably clean, I have a pen here. Dakota's just smiling and he's grinning and laughing at the stories. Okay, look at this. So we got barely a little bit of oil in that pan. For the person that wants for me to show them how to cook the meatball in the frying pan, is there somebody there? No. I'm, I'm going to show you. Let's just put, let's just do uh, four or five. How about that? This is for the people, but if you're not using an oven, you fill your pan up, okay? Now, these ones right here, let's get them into the oven, okay? 350 degrees in the middle rack. And I'm going to tell y'all when these are done. They're going to be done when they're golden brown, okay? I need you to trust me on this. Now, I'm going to wash my hand again because I touched the meatball. Now, if you're cooking them on the stove, turn it on medium, okay? Turn this on medium. I'm going to put it over here, and I want to move this over this way, okay? All right, let's move some things out the way. Now's your perfect time to get some things cleaned up if, if need be. Okay, let me rinse my hand a little. All right. A little bit of soap on my hands. All right. Okay, so the meatballs, they're on the stove. If you're cooking yours on the stove, you cover that whole pan. Turn it on medium. And, and you don't even have to go in and stir them. You just keep shaking them. And as you shake them, they'll turn around until everything is nice and golden brown. You got me? Got me, got me, got me? All right, thank you, Sonia. Okay, so now there are people that it's ready to move on. You get your marinara sauce and or you get your spaghetti sauce like I'm using because I love spaghetti sauce. I like marinara sauce too, you know. So now, the same spices that we used for the inside of our meatballs is going to be the same spice that we use for our sauce. I want you all to turn your saucepan onto like a low heat. Okay, and we're then going to pour the contents of our marinara sauce or your spaghetti sauce right into the pan. Let's do it together. Okay, come on in. And don't pour it up from too high. If you pour it up too high, you can have splattering all over your beautiful shirts and blouses. You know, when you go up high, it splatters. When you come down low, you're in good standing. You ain't got to worry about nothing splattering, okay? And I'm going to do like uh, my dad would always do, and probably your grandmoms would do too, is you put a little bit of water. And not, don't get crazy with the water because we don't want our sauce to get liquefied or, or watery. And then you can get all the sauce out of there. Look at that. Isn't that old school? That's how we do it old school, right? <laughs> My husband looks at me sometimes and he say, you, you are old. You are old as hell. <laughs> and he's older than me. <laughs> it's funny because we can be talking about music or something, you know. And uh, when he finds out that I know whatever he's talking about, he say, you are old as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he can't believe I know the song. I say, I don't know why you can't believe it, because I know every song. <laughs> it comes to music. I know it. You do that to your sauce, too. Okay, let, uh, Lily says, that's a good trick. Thank you, Ron. He says, waste not, want not. You guys are just totally cracking up at me today. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Yolita says, you do have an old soul, Gina. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> I remember one of my birthdays, you know, because I've been together, me and my husband have been together since I was, I think I was 20, something like that. But uh, he, he, uh, one of my birthdays that was recent, he said, 
you ain't no spring chicken no more. <laughs> and I just laugh. He says the funniest stuff. Lily says, can you sing for us, Gina? I am totally not going to sing for you guys today. Not today, although I would love to. Let's go ahead and season it, okay? Don't be shy when it comes to Italian seasoning. I'm even going to open this up. Italian seasoning is beautiful in marinara or spaghetti sauce, okay? We're going to put some black pepper because you need it. We're going to put some garlic powder because you need it. Okay, and be a little gentle with the salt, okay? Be gentle with your salt. And then, you know, like if your loved one wants a little bit more salt or they don't feel like it's spicy enough or whatever, they can always put like a little bit of red pepper flakes on top of their sandwich or a little bit of salt. You know, you, you put what you know needs in there and if they want more salt and pepper, they'll season it on their plate, you know? So now that we have the beautiful seasonings in, there's always one thing that I like to do. <clears throat> now, I like to tell you guys when I do this, you don't have to do this. It's just something that I grew up on. My dad would always tell me when he was making spaghetti or whatever he was making with the red sauce, put a little bit of sugar in it, kind of cut the acid a little bit. You know how it gets you right there? It's kind of like, get you right there. That acid um, will help with acid reflux. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. Don't quote me, all right? But I, I feel like it, it, it cuts a little bit of the acid in the tomato. So I will be putting like two pinches of sugar in. Is the two pinches of sugar going to make this sweet? Nope. And I'm not trying to make it sweet. I promise you. I mean, like if you were to go over two pinches of sugar, well, you are trying to make it sweet. You know what I mean? Let's put a little bit of sugar if you want to. I'm going to do that right now. If you have... Um, meatballs that are in your frying pan, make sure they're on a medium, and you really don't even have to bother them. They're going to cook themselves up, and once you start to see them get golden brown, you just shake them around so they can turn, okay? I'm going to grab some sugar. And literally, like I said, I'm just using two pinches, okay? Not enough to make it sweet, but enough to give it that, mmm, mommy, where'd she get this recipe from? That's what it's going to do. It's going to have people saying, dang, go on, that tastes good. Like, you know, some people, there are some people out there that thinks that you don't have to season spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce. Well, it's delicious itself. I can definitely say that. But when you bump it up like this, listen here, there's no stopping you. The people are going to beg you for more. You hear me? I'm so serious about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste this. If you want to, you can wait to taste yours when it heats up. And then if at any point you feel like you need more seasoning, go in and put some more seasoning in. And um, it's the seasonings that we use to season our meatballs. I'm going to taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I definitely feel like I need a little bit more salt. Boy, but it was good. You hear me? That's it. Don't get crazy with it. So I got meatballs here. Can they see the meatballs? I got meatballs here sizzling for the people that want to cook theirs on top of the stove or your oven isn't working. Okay? And when they're ready to turn, I'll shake my pan a little. We got meatballs in the oven that's cooking up, getting nice, beautiful, and golden brown that you don't even have to bother. So now, can you guys put like a 25 minute timer um, and, and let me know? You wanna do the timer? Okay, Dakota said he's gonna do the timer. Okay, you gotta give me my camera back, okay? Cause I gotta be able to read their comments. And uh, after 25 minutes, we'll check in on our meatballs. Most likely, they'll be ready. Like, I'm 95%. They'll be ready to come out and go into our sauce. Now, let's talk about something really quickly. If, by chance, your meatballs have a little tiny bit of pink in them, here's what I don't want nobody out there to do. I don't want nobody freaking out. Guess what? Because when you put them in the sauce to simmer, 
if they had a little bit of pink in them, no worries, because when they go into this hot bubbly sauce, oh, they're gonna get nice and fully cooked, okay? Because we're gonna let them simmer for a while, okay? And if at any time you want to, um, if at any time, Dakota just confused me. Oh, if at any time you wanna put some Parmesan cheese into your sauce like I'm gonna do right now, feel free to grab you some, okay? Parmesan cheese is beautiful in a red sauce. Some people call a red sauce Sunday sauce. I love that. Sunday sauce, some Italian people um, like to say that and I love that. I'm gonna put some Parmesan in because me and my family, we love it, okay? Beautiful, okay? I'm gonna put my sugar up, and then I'm also going to um, clean off my cutting board, make sure you've got your area nice and clean so that you're not stressed out. I always like to tell everybody, um, no stressing out in your kitchen, okay? When Gina Young shows you all how to cook, I'm showing you how to cook easy, quick, and simple recipes that are stress-free. Stress and in order for you to become or be stress-free, you gotta clean up as you go, okay? Or sometimes when I don't have, when I don't feel like cleaning up, because there is those times where I don't feel like cleaning up, um, I'll have one of my loved ones clean up as I'm going, and it just really helps me out to not be stress-free, you know? Or, yeah, to, it helps me out not to be stressed. That's how I'd like to put that. I, I said that wrong. I want to grab a Ziploc bag to put my sugar in and I'll be right back. I, I, I always keep saying, I think it would be so neat if I could hear you guys, but I feel, but I also feel like on the other hand, if I could hear y'all like in this microphone here, I mean, would I feel like everybody was screaming at me all at once? You know, how would that work? Or would they let one comment come through after another, you know? I think that would be neat. Uh, Parmesan is always good, says my holy king. You can add Parmesan cheese to your sauce, says Sonia. Thank you. Okay, yes, no stress. Clean up as you go. We would distract you. Oh, you think so? Oh, my goodness. But I do think it would be fun just to try it one time if that was available, you know, like for us to try. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, I've got some beautiful sauce going. I haven't even stirred in my Parmesan. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll get to that. Okay, so if you come in real quick, I can show you guys something. Okay. We're going to turn the meatballs. Look at this. Oh, there went a meatball right into the sink. But guess what? We are cooking live and things happen. Now, for one second, and you guys might be totally cracking up at that right now, right? But don't stress out about it. Let that meatball go. <laughs> Let the, Dakota's cracking up. Let the meatball go, Gina. Don't worry about it. Can you show them the meatball in the sink? Let it go. Don't freak out about that one meatball. <laughs> Dakota is laughing. He is just totally laughing. But let's get the meatballs nice, beautiful, and golden brown on all sides. Let's let Dakota get all his giggles out. Go ahead and laugh it out, Dakota. <laughs> he is laughing, guys. Oh, my goodness. So now I told my husband that the world loves Kool-Aid. And my husband said, the world loves it. He said, I love Kool-Aid. He said, who didn't grow up on Kool-Aid? We all did. So let's make some Kool-Aid. Let's make some Kool-Aid. I did buy him some, what kind? I, I bought some Mountain Dew. It's been a long time since anybody's had Mountain Dew at this house. So I purchased some. Um, and my husband said, wow, Mountain Dew. He said, I don't know when's the last time I had that, you know. I said, me neither. He said, that'll be good to go over, you know, with some ice. He said, but I want the Kool-Aid. I said, I know, me too. So we're going to mix up some Kool-Aid here at the Young's house. All right. It sure smells good. That's the tropical fruit flavor. I'm going to put some nice cold water in. Uh, uh, believe it or not, when I mix up my Kool-Aid, I like to start off with hot water. 
just to make sure that this gets well incorporated, you know? And then after I mix that up, I go in with the cold water. Is there anybody else like that? D DB says, amen to the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Hi everyone, says Black Gold. I'm coming around and I'm going to read some comments here shortly. Let me stir my stuff up. All right, I think I'll stir the Kool-Aid with you all so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Dakota thought that was so funny about the meatball. Oh my goodness. But you know what, Dakota, I'm so serious about stressing out about one little stink of meatball, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stress myself out about that one meatball, Dakota. <laughs> He's laughing, guys. Oh, all right. Let's mixy mix. So right about now, your meatballs should be in the oven, getting nice, beautiful, and golden brown or on your stove, getting nice, beautiful, and golden brown on all sides. Your sauce should be heating up, you know, just like so. And I'm cooking up or whipping up some Kool-Aid. All right, how's everybody doing? You can tell me now while I'm not doing anything because now's a great time. Let's see, it's called a Zoom chat. We can see you and you can see us. Deborah, what do you mean it's called a Zoom chat? Who, who are you speaking to? I think she's talking to me. Oh, she's talking to me? You that's how you guys can communicate. Oh, that's how we can communicate? Like they don't get to talk to you. Yeah, I'm not going to do the Zoom chat, though. Right now, I have no interest in doing the Zoom. I know what a Zoom chat is called. It's called a Zoom chat. I know what a Zoom chat is. <laughs> They have Clubhouse 2 and this audio app. Oh, yeah, I've actually seen that one time. I think so, too, Ash, Ashley. It's, she said the Zoom chat is too much, you know? And I, I totally feel like doing a live cooking session would be a bit too much on the Zoom, you know. I feel like I got this Kool-Aid nice and, and uh, mixed up. All right, you want to put this in the refrigerator for me? Put that in the refrigerator. Make sure it's, uh, I don't want it near meat or anything, you know. I want it up on the top shelf, okay? Hello, Diana. How are you? Tanya Brown says, hello, everyone. Hi, how are you? Lynette says, hi, Gina. It would be too much fun to cook at the same time. Oh, yes, absolutely. But you know what? This is what we're doing right now. It is too much fun. We're having a lot of fun, and we're cooking together. Absolutely, we are. Okay, Sonia says, I used Zoom once with the YouTuber. It was a great experience. Okay. Okay, that's great. Haven't had Kool-Aid since the 90s. So now listen, now that my sauce is nice and warm, I can really go in and taste and see if I'm happy with that sugar in there. Now that the spices have had some time to kind of really distribute, into the meat and get cooked. I'm gonna taste it. And I have the Parmesan cheese in there. Let's see what it tastes like. For those of you that didn't cook along with us, go ahead and take some. I'm going in. Mm, mm, mm. Guess what? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's it. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy with the flavor. Oh man, that tastes good. You hear me? Mmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you all. I'm gonna turn these meatballs. I'm gonna show you all what the meatballs is looking like. Look at this. 
look at this, look at this. Now, some of you right now, you're going to say, but, the, but I, uh, Gina, how am I going to get the sides nice and cooked when I'm making the meatballs on the stove? Well, you can either turn them up on their side like this when you come up on the side of the pan, or at right now, you can turn around and put these meatballs right in here because they'll finish cooking the the way in your sauce, okay, if that's your concern. But whether you make a meatball um, on the stove or you make the meatball in the microwave, both ways would be delicious. I, I cook them both ways sometimes, but, but most of the time, I don't really like to just stand over the stove and constantly have to watch them. So that's why I like to put them babies in the oven. Yes, they are. They are sleeping on the cows next to each other. You said, how lovely. They don't do anything without each other. They don't do anything with, that's my apron going flying through the air. Um, I always like to wear this one, but I have a different one on today. You know, when are you going to have Thursday reading time? When you read that book, the shack to us. Oh my goodness. Okay, listen. Okay, okay, so Diana, I was raised up off a of ragu sauce. Um, I raised my family off a of thick prego. I was raised up on rago, uh, ragu, ragu, rago. I was raised up on ragu, and I like to have the prego because it's thick. Ragu has always been delicious, and it still is, but I feel like ragu is much thinner than prego. Prego has got a nice thick consistency. Tell us about the lamp on your stove, Gina. Okay, this is like, we are a water family. We love water everything. That's why we have waterfalls in our house and we have fish tanks and things like that. We like to hear and see water. But this is, um, it's kind of like a fish tank lamp. And it does have, what are those things called, Dakota? jellyfish and it does have the Nemo fish and another fish in there that goes up and down and at night when we turn off all the lights in the house that believe it or not that little thing right there lets off lots of light so thank you I love it my husband said I got something you're gonna like <laughs> he said I know you like jellyfish so I got something for you so now here's what I'm gonna do taking my beautiful meatballs get in there oh, oh, oh yes Lord you get in there and you get nice and nestled into the sauce. We go and you just cook up and get nice and tender for me. You hear me? Ooh, we no worries if you couldn't get the inside fully cooked because it will cook in your sauce. Okay, look at that. Oh, like that right there. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> How many of you are excited right now? I know you are. I know you are. Hold on, guys. I'm going to actually come around right in front of the camera. And if you guys have some questions for me, um, now would be the perfect time to ask me questions while we wait on our stuff to get done in the oven. And um, I'll answer some questions. How about it? I'm coming around. Okay, hold on. You see the babies there. You see them? <laughs> Sonia says, I'm excited. Look at them. You see one? Uh-oh. No, no, no. Get back up there. Get up there. Thank you. <laughs> but, you know, it's so funny how they understand every single thing I tell them. You know, if I tell them to get up there, if I say go, go get in the cage, if I say you want water, you want to eat, you want to pee pee, no matter what it is, they know everything that I'm talking about. And it is just amazing to see how much they've learned, what all they know. They are so smart. Okay, I'm coming around. Where's my lip gloss at? Where's my lip gloss? I'm lip glossless. 
and I'm ringless. I need my rings too. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm going to have to make this recipe tomorrow. Valencia, you have to make it. You would totally love this rat. But guess what? You see how quick it was. Rats. Somebody says rats. Just turned on my bed. I will have to watch the video and catch the beginning. Okay, Linda, no problem. You say, what type of breed are they? Um, they are teacup morkies, M-O-R-K-I-E-S. And so therefore, they have the Maltese in them. And then they have the Yorkie in them. They are hyperallergenic. They don't shed. They don't get any better, bigger. They're a teacup. OK, Dakota, where did my, I need it. Where, uh, where you buy the huge Kool-Aid, let me see. Where you buy the huge Kool-Aid pitcher from? Oh, I got that from uh, Walmart. I got that from Walmart, and um, I love it. I, I use that for nothing but Kool-Aid or Tank. And when we wash it, we don't wash our Kool-Aid pitcher ever in dishwater that's already been made, because we don't ever want to risk it getting oily or getting oil in it. That's like the worst thing you want for your plastic. You know, so we always wash it by itself. Where you buy the huge, oh, okay, I just read that. Gina, I asked several times, what different ingredients is in the marinara sauce that makes it different from spaghetti? I, um, Adia, I don't know. Um, I don't know, because I don't know their ingredients versus spaghetti sauce. That's why, I can, that's why I like to say, you can use either or, they're both delicious. But what I like to do with both is always season both. I put onion in my meatballs. Can I put them sauce to, oh yeah, you can. No, no, that's fine. You can put onions in your sauce too. Okay, it's gonna be delicious, Christy. In your sauce, put it in your sauce, put it in your meatballs. Both is delicious. You cannot mess that up. Why didn't you add sugar to the Kool-Aid? Okay, Terrell, what a great question. My Kool-Aid is already have sugar in it. So that Kool-Aid that you just saw me measure out, it's already sweetened. Isn't that great, right? We didn't have that back in the days. We had to put two cups of sugar in, right? But um, it's already sweetened, so great question. Raymond says, always prego for me. I hate ragu. <laughs> okay, and keeping up with Keith says, Miss Gina, you are so pretty and you have such a sweet spirit. Thank you. And then Gina, um, are you a fan of mozzarella sticks? I like mozzarella sticks, but they have to be hot. They have to be hot. But more than anything, I'd like to say over mozzarella sticks, I like fried mushrooms and I like um, fried pickles. I love me some Kool-Aid. That <laughs> says Lily. Alan, I'll be back. I'm going to go eat. Okay, Alan. Okay, Susie Q said I haven't had Kool-Aid in many years. Um, I have to know what you put in a meatball mixture. Kay Bridges, are you just coming in? <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Yeah, it was a tropical fruit flavor, and like I said, it's been pre-measured with sugar in it. Probably because they found out that years ago, everybody was putting too much sugar in their Kool-Aid. <laughs> So they decided to sweeten it for us. So now when we measure it out, it's already sweetened. <laughs> uh, Margaret, if you don't know, yes, I have moved again. I've been here over a year and we purchased this home. The other homes that you've seen us in, we um, were renting those homes, okay? Are you a, G Gina, are you Jamaican? <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> My husband said, huh? <laughs> no, she ain't Jamaican. <laughs> Gina, will you be toasting the buns for the meatballs? No, I won't. If you want to toast your buns, absolutely you can, okay? Thank you, Gina, for all your hard work putting in these uh, putting these together. I love the inspiration. Thank you, Stillers82. Meatball sauce is looking great. Ash is laughing. 
I watch again, of course. Okay. Gina, Jamaican, ha ha, <laughs> says my holy king. I used to drink a lot of Hawaiian punch. Oh, yeah. Now, that's not Hawaiian punch. That's the tropical punch. I haven't had Kool-Aid in a while. <laughs> okay, Gina, how do you fry a pickle? Okay. Um, okay. So now, if you are frying pickles because they're delicious, you want to make sure you have a paper towel near so you can dry them. And then you just, um, you can put them in an egg and a flour, eggs and, you know, egg and flour, throw them in some oil and fry them babies up. Or egg, flour, and breadcrumbs, or you can even put them like um, into a batter. You know, dip them in a batter and fry them, and they are delicious. So for those people that love, 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 love pickles, you're, you're going to love fried pickles. Oh, see, Sonia says, I love them. Because they're sour, but they're delicious, you know. I, listen, I love, Susie Q says, I like fried mushrooms. I love fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms is my thing. Are your dogs related? The dogs are brothers. They are brothers. And um, so they have the same exact mom and dad. <clears throat> And princes like the baby, but they came out of the same litter, so they wasn't born at different. You know, uh, uh, they're born to the same parents, the same litter. They don't act the same. Polo bad. They don't act the same, <laughs> but they love each other so much. They can't do anything without each other. Oh my goodness, Tina, I know you know about Vernon's pop. I do know, know about Vernon's, um, what is Vernon's, honey? I don't know, I don't know how you know this was there either. I, I always look at it. All right, man, I would have never seen that um, Vernon's, I, I know what Vernon's is. Is it, um, what's the pop that you like, honey? Vernon's, Ver, uh, ginger ale. Ginger ale, yeah, my husband likes that. They are brothers, yes. Oh, Alyssa says, I love fried mushrooms, too. I'm going to have to do a fried mushroom video. Oh, which one is it? Okay, this is great. <laughs> this looks good. Look at, look at that mustard. We want that mustard because it's good mustard. Okay. Um, <laughs> can you give me a paper towel, Dakota, and a plate? A Maltese is a shoe. A Maltese is and a miniature poop. I, I don't know about that, Ad Adija. Here, baby, you want to check these sandwiches and see which one yours is? What, no how did, you got mines with no onions? That, that's, that's onions, right? Oh. That look like yours. Okay. And no onions in that. Oh, man, right, that looks on. good. Oh, my goodness. That's mine. It's yours. Hey, and guess what? Made. Pretty soon, okay. we will be checking on our meatballs. Um, I will show you guys something. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my husband couldn't wait. He couldn't wait on the meatballs. Mm. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Philly steak and cheese, yes. I would love to take my husband to Philly just one time so he can taste steak and cheese, you know, because he loves it. Philly better get it together. Yeah, Philly better get it together because uh -huh. right Philly is, is, not, is not doing well right now. They don't have good reports about their city, sad enough to say. Because I love Philly, you know, my dad loves Philly. He was born there. Ron says, I'll take the meatballs up. <laughs> Philly cheesesteak is the best in the world, says Raymond. Yeah. Oh, it is. I'm just, mmm. One second, guys. Oh. Some coming in there. It is? Yeah, but he said, it's, and I told you it's always because there's so many fish in there. Okay. So, but I just put some what's your name in there, so it's leave. Okay. But you got to do the other one. Okay. Later on. You got the one? Okay. All right. I got some little ones. Those look. Okay. So set it on real big ones. Oh, eat. okay. That's great. And this one has vegetables in it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, everybody. All right, is the timer up? Somebody tell Dakota, is our timer up? Mm -hmm. 
The timer's up. Let's check on our meat bullies. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah. Poke myself right in the mouth. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Remember, I fed them not too long ago, honey. Okay, Ron says Philly used to be called the brotherly love city. It's not love in, in Philly. No it's more. not lovely anymore. Let me see. Seriously, American needs God's love and forgiveness. You are right. Okay, he says the time is up. Okay, that's great. Now, baby, if you never had this mustard before, this is a mustard you're going to love. This mustard. I wish we could find it in the stores. Okay, we're going to check on the meatballs. <laughs> mm, thank you, Lord. Mm, thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful meal and your love. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I ain't ate nothing all day. Mm. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to flip the camera around to Dakota, close our refrigerator. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we're going to take the meatballs. We're going to put the meatballs into the sauce and let them simmer. And then guess what happens after that? After we let them simmer, very quickly, we're going to be putting... Some meatball subs together, Jeannie Young style. And what I like to do is I like to, we're going to check the meatballs, Gloria. I like to put um, cheese slices at the bottom, which is going to be our um, uh, Swiss cheese. Thank you, sweetie pie. Mm, love you. Love you um, we're going to put Swiss cheese at the bottom, meatballs on the top, sauce, parmesan, and then mozzarella. And eat that, baby, okay? Let's get them out the oven right now. I'm going to flip the camera around so y'all can see me. Sorry for eating because I'm so sorry. Put your meatballs in your sauce, honey. Oh, thank you so much, DB. You said you look like I have a nice family. Yes, I love them. Thank you. I love them. I think I'll keep them. I think I'll keep both of them. <laughs> All right, see if I'm in the camera. Are we in the camera? Oh, the meatballs. Perfect. You hear me? And when I tell you that these babies turned out perfect, they did. You want a meatball that stays nice and plump. You want a meatball that has gorgeous color. And that is what we have achieved today. So now, we need to grab a spatula. Excuse me. Okay. C come in close so they can see. Don't get too close because we don't want our camera to get freaked out. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Come on. You just scrape them up. Scrape them up and throw them in. Mm, mm, mm. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to cut one of them because I want to show you guys what they look like in the inside. I feel like I must show you all just what they look like in the inside, and I'm gonna do just that, okay? Look at this. And some of them, you get this nice char at the bottom. Listen, listen here. You ain't had nothing until you had meatballs homemade. And how stinking easy was it? It was so easy, Gina. You bet it was, and what I'm gonna do I, I want to show you the inside, and I'm going to choose to get a big one, okay, to show you the inside of that one. And then we'll take our pans, and we'll put our pans in some hot soapy water so that they will be easy to wash a little later on, you know. All right, so we got a beautiful big old meatball right here. 
let me move these. Okay, let's put it in some hot soapy water. I'm right here, I'm not going too far. Okay, I hope you guys are with me. Somebody tell me how their meatballs is looking. Do you ever go thrift shopping? I have to be honest and tell you, I used to. I used to and I loved it. Now, when I went thrift shopping years and years ago um, was when I worked at Walmart. And I would love to get things like um, sheets and blankets and hand towels and kitchen towels and maybe um, things like plates, forks, and, and, and kitchen things. That's what I used to like to get out of the thrift store. Um, okay, so watch this. Come on, somebody come on. Can somebody say amen? Oh, girl, listen here. Come on. Pam says, it looks delicious, Gina. That's because it is. You hear me? If you ain't excited, I don't know what's wrong. Like, is something wrong? Do we need to check your temperature? Look at this. Come on. Meatballs galore. Oh, Emmett. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what I was just getting ready to say, but come in on this baby. Look at that. It's soft. Look at the inside. Oh, and guess what? That's fully cooked. Guess what I'm going to do? I got to try it. Y'all want to try it? But come here, let me smush it. I want to smush it to show you how juicy. Can y'all see the juice? Oh, my. You try it this way. Mm, mm, mm. don't even need sauce. It's so good. You hear me? All right. Now I'm going to do this with this one because I have to. I wouldn't be Gina Young if I didn't do that. Come on, for the people that's not cooking with me today, go ahead and taste that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's it. That is all you need. Now, since I know that the meatballs are fully cooked, what we're going to do is we will then turn this on medium, okay, and we'll let it simmer. You decide if you want yours to simmer for 15 minutes or if you want yours to simmer for 10 minutes. I'm going to let mine simmer for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. We'll take all of our lovely cheeses out of the refrigerator and make up some meatball subs, Gina Young style. How about it? How about it? We got the Kool-Aid. I got some chips. So I got some sweet southern heat barbecue. And then I also got some Pringles, just in case somebody wants to be different. There's always somebody that has to be different. <laughs> so you have to, you know, you have to, to, to figure out what they want. <laughs> <laughs> so you can give them what they want. All right. So now, are you excited? Wow, my holy king says, wow. How, listen. Just be serious. Just be honest with me. How easy was this? How easy was it to make meatballs? Somebody say, Gina, it was so stinking easy. I never thought it would be that easy. And like I said, I can't stress it enough. I've probably said it 35 times. Make you some spaghetti noodles. You can put this over top of your spaghetti noodles a little later. Okay? Let's let this simmer for 10 minutes. We'll come back and assemble our sandwiches. We'll say an amazing prayer. You all get that first bite. I'm coming back around to read messages. I'm going to plug my computer in here. Uh-oh. Is, every, is everybody doing okay? Pretty darn easy. Okay. So easy and quick. Okay. Yes. I, listen, listen, listen. I love to show you guys how to make easy meals. I'm telling you. I am loving this. Because so many people are learning. 
you know, as we're doing this. You are, you're learning as we're doing this and people are having a fun time learning, you know. It's, it's not often that people have a fun time learning. Sometimes learning can be scary, but I try to make it where it's not scary. <laughs> Drew says, my two Boston Terriers won some, Gina. There you go, Raymond, that's great. Raymond says, freezing the extra meatballs with sauce. Absolutely. I can just smell it through my phone. It's heavenly, says Charlene. Easy people, good stuff coming. <laughs> you are a cook, Gina. I like watching people cook on YouTube videos and in person. Okay, thank you. Is that meatball you made like a Swedish meatball? Um, here's what I will tell you. That would be very similar to the same recipe that I would use, um, only Swedish meatballs has somewhat like a little gravy to it. You know what I mean? And my gravy has like sour cream in it. But you can use that meatball recipe to make Swedish meatballs. You can. Mm-hmm. Juice Miller says, I like how you seasoned it. Thank you. You love Swedish meatballs? Okay. Have you ever done a video on fried rice? Yes, I have, Pam. I've even done a video on how to make hibachi. Gina, you should put so stinking easy on one of your t-shirts. <laughs> Thank you, Yolita. Cooking lessons are expensive, and especially one-on-one -on -one lessons. You're right, uh, Ron. You are absolutely right. <laughs> but here you get, you know, um, cooking lessons free. Because <laughs> all you got to do is turn my live on, give a thumbs up, that's all we're asking, you know, <laughs> and you have voila cooking lessons. <laughs> Chanel says, it was so stinking easy. DB, I'm glad you're here too. You said, uh-oh, hold on, guys. I lost my messages. You said, and we're all here. Treat it like family. Listen, I'm so serious when I say you guys are like my family. I'm, I'm going to treat you guys right. You guys respect me. I respect you guys. I have so much fun with you all. And I enjoy this special time that we have together on Thursdays and Saturdays. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. You are my family, honey. Yes, you are. <laughs> Chanel says, I will take a meatball sub with barbecue chips. <laughs> yes, it was, Ron. Ron says, um, his first lesson was learning how to season the meat. And I love that because, sorry guys, some people are not sure how to get the flavor in and versus I'm going to come in, I'm going to show you how to use the seasonings, how not to be afraid to use the seasonings, except for salt. You know, you got to watch the salt, but everything else, get that seasoning in so you can taste it and your family can taste it. And they say, man, I never tasted whatever it is. I never had it like this and it tastes like this because they took the time to season it and they were not afraid to use seasoning. Sometimes I use a million seasonings in one dish, but it's flavorful. 
<laughs> you know, I want my family to taste flavor when they bite down into anything, even if it's scrambled eggs. I want that to be the best scrambled egg that they have ever had. And in my scrambled egg videos, you'll see me taking time to show you how to pull, do the pulling technique with the egg that's so relaxing, you know. <laughs> Ted says, I love the 1971 vintage wild cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> I, Valencia, I do too. I love chicken powder. Chicken powder is amazing. Oh, now I got some good light. Okay. You guys didn't tell me I had the light shining on my... Oh my goodness, this sub is so good. My husband's been telling me that there was this restaurant and I told him, I said, I know where that's at. I said, go here. I know where it's at. So this is our first time trying it, and it's delicious. Ooh, it's good. It's called uh, Penn Station East Coast Subs. That's what it's called. This is good. Mm. Nicole says, um, I just heard you say chicken powder. What is that? Chicken powder? I'm going to show you. Dakota? Yes, Ron says my eggs are silk with, the, with um, your pool of the eggs. Thank you, Ron. Get my chicken powder so I can show somebody. All right. Your uh, meatballs should be simmering. This is a, a big bottle of chicken powder. Pollo means chicken, pollo. Pollo, all right, chicken flavor bouillon. It's not bouillon cubes, but it is chicken powder. Look at that, okay, can you see that? So I'm gonna do it this way so you can see. Chicken powder, this stuff is like, Listen, it's so good. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I use it to season chicken. I use it to make chicken broth. I use it for everything. It's so good. A dry chicken bouillon powder. Get you some. You can even get the beef bouillon powder. Get you some. When I talk about delicious, I'm never going to steer you guys wrong. Like I have some good uh, taste buds. <laughs> I have a good palate that understands flavors. And I also understand different cultures' flavors. I love to experiment with flavors. And chicken powder is used in, in Haitian cooking, but they call theirs a Maggie, Maggie cube, M-A-G-G-I-E, Maggie cube. And really, in all actuality, it's just a little cube that's a chicken bouillon. Or it may be a tomato-based chicken bouillon. They use that in Haitian cooking. They use this in Puerto Rican cooking. I don't know if it's used in, don't quote me, I don't know if it's used in Mexican, but it's definitely in Puerto Rican and Haitian food. They use that, and like I said, some of them call it Maggie Cube, M-A-G-G-I-E, Maggie Cube. And you can find it, like I said, in tomato base. You talk about good. Oh, okay, Sadija. Okay, you said also West African. Okay, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> mm. How do you make the gravy for Swedish meatballs? Well, I would turn around. You always start off with equal parts flat, oh, sorry, equal parts fat, whether that would be your butter or your oil versus equal parts flour. So let's just say I got a half, a, let's just say I have a half a cup of oil, 
or I have a half a cup of butter. Melt it down in the pan, get it nice and hot. Then that means you're gonna use a half a cup of flour. You're gonna mix it in, okay? It should never look like paste. After mixing it in, you can use water or chicken broth or vegetable broth to thin it out. Once you start stirring it and thinning it out, you're gonna form a, gla a gravy, a flavorful gravy, right? You put just some seasonings in there. Salt, pepper, garlic powder is always on my top list, okay? You're gonna put um, some kitchen bouquet in there to give it some color. Kitchen bouquet is gonna turn a pale gravy to a darker color gravy, okay, without the flavor. It doesn't have flavor, but it'll give you color, okay? And then you can stir in a little tiny bit of sour cream and there you have a Swedish meatball gravy, okay? Don't call me, but I believe I have a video for how to make it. Feel free to check it out. <laughs> She's on them Swedish meatballs. She wants those Swedish meatballs. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome. Uh, you could even put the chicken powder in there. And it's just a, um, a little pinch of it. Grab your little pinch with your fingers like this. Throw it in that gravy for some flavor. Lights out. And when I say lights out, that just means everybody's going to enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Make you some. With noodles and broccoli. <laughs> okay. So now, Gina, do chicken powder come in chicken? Okay, Gina, do chicken powder come in chicken bouillon? Yes. So um, right next to where you'll find the chicken bouillon in the little cubes that you have to unravel, you'll find chicken powder in little tiny things like this. It'll say chicken powder. You'll find it in the beef. It'll say chicken powder. I have a million in my pantry that are this big. And it's little chicken powders. If you remind me, I'll show you. Okay? Find it right where you'll find the bouillon. Use it on everything. You, listen, use it on fish. Use it on asparagus. Some people might say, okay, so does it taste like... Um, why would you put chicken flavored anything on asparagus? Because it's delicious. Is it gonna taste like chicken? No, it just tastes like umami flavor. When Gina says umami, it just really, like I said, it makes you say, ooh wee. Where did this flavor come from? It's from the chicken powder. If it's been 10 minutes, somebody let me know. And we can put together meatball subs, Gina Young style, how many of you are excited? It does have, it does have sodium. It does have sodium. Uh-huh. But you don't have to use a lot. Or you don't have to use it. You know what I'm saying? Get nor chicken beef bouillon in a seven point. There you go. Oh, yeah. You can get the ham flavoring. That's Mary Jane talking. The ham flavoring that you put in your green beans or your beans. It is magnificent. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> magnificent. Okay, so listen, I think it's time for us to make meatball subs. If you're ready, give me some red hearts and we're gonna make some meatball subs. Get your cheese out. It is, the flavor is something else. Asian juice, chicken granules, yes. I feel like I seen that one time 
with a, I don't know if they was making fried rice or something, but sometimes they'll use the MSG, sometimes they'll use sugar, sometimes they'll use chicken powder. Yes, you want some good flavor, guys. I can tell you how to hook up some good flavor. Okay, how about it? <clears throat> You're ready. You're ready and I'm ready. Can I get the cameraman in here? I done rubbed off all of my lip gloss and now you guys get to see my bare lips. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up some meatballs. Grab your sub buns. Grab the Parmesan cheese and also grab any cheese that you want to use. Lights, camera, action, and I'm turning it out right now. All right. Oh. Oh, no. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you what happened to me. Right before I was getting ready to go live. So, Y'all see that little blanket on the couch that I folded up for the dog so they can lay down and be nice and cuddly, right? So I got the blanket folded up and I told my husband, I said, I got a nice blanket for them, right? Wham, I hit the floor. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? So Polo found a stick. I don't know where the stick came from. But I thought it was so cute that he was playing with it or he brought it in, something. Because they, they really don't play with stuff. Not really. Sometimes they do. The stick is about like this thick. It's about this long. I stepped on that baby. My foot rolled. And I went face forward. So luckily, luckily I had the blanket folded up because I fell right on top of that blanket. And I was so embarrassed. I got a scrape like this long on the side of my knee. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> They're saying, hey, Dakota. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, but I, I fell hard. And when I just stood up, I just felt it because my leg is hurting. But uh, my husband was like, oh, you OK? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> he said, he said, did you break anything? I said, no. Dakota's going to show you the stick. He's putting the stick in front of the camera. Can you see it? <laughs> there it is, the infamous stick. My foot went rolling right on top of that stick. <laughs> it wasn't funny. <laughs> All right, I am going to, I do want to wash my hands. Let me do that. <laughs> but yeah, I was rolling a roller coaster. But I tell you what, I hit that floor hard. It wasn't funny. I don't know why Dakota is like. Why is Dakota laughing? Is he supposed to laugh at his mom? You know, if she falls and hurts herself, huh? Don't make it like that. It is like that. <laughs> He said, don't make it like that. It's like that if you laugh. But, <laughs> but you know. Okay, so what do y'all want me to put it on the hot dog bun? Or do you want me to put it on the um, sub bun? Whichever y'all want me to do, I am willing. Uh, right. He says, you already fell down the steps. I know. <laughs> oh, Dakota's having a good time with this. He is having a stinking good time with this conversation. Okay, one, first message. Gina, we love you. Gina, along with your family, I didn't know you were so funny. Like boxing. In a <laughs> Did you know I was praying for you? and not to get surgery. He's answered my prayers. No, he ain't. <laughs> he ain't answered your prayers, girl. I'm getting my surgery. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 
You got to be kidding me. <laughs> so you pray for me not to get the surgery. Oh, Lord. I tell you what, I'm still getting my surgery. <laughs> you don't want me to have low iron, do you? Come on now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sheila says, what and why? <laughs> oh, I'm, listen, I'm getting my surgery. You hear me? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I remember I fell off the porch <laughs> because it was icy. <laughs> Thank God nobody saw. <laughs> That's Raymond saying that. <laughs> Gina, so many things are happening to you. It's because the blessing is big. <laughs> Gina, get that surgery. My holy king, I am. You hear me? So listen, let me tell you something that happened to me. So literally, when I was supposed to be simmering my meatballs, um, the burner was unplugged. So I just yanked it up on high really quickly. And the heat is moving now. So I'd like to wait a good five minutes. But what I will do is I want to show you how I like to go in. And look at this. Swiss cheese. You can use provolone, mozzarella, whatever you like to use. Here at the Young's house, we like to line the um, bread with a cheese at the bottom. Because it prevents your bread from getting soggy, you know? All right, so you can use like a half a piece to line it. How about that? Okay, how about that like that? Ooh, wait, girl, you something else. All right, so now I just want to show you both forms. I'm sure Dakota will eat one, right? Okay. So wait till he needs a new game. You are right. You that's are right. <laughs> he said that's Who not said that? He said, that's not fair. Who just said that? I'm not telling you who said that. Yeah, no. No. I no. No, I don't tell of my people. <laughs> I fair. love my people. <laughs> I need to remember who said. I'm going to go back and see who said. I'll do that. I'm going to go back and see who said they prayed for me not to get that surgery. <laughs> I'm going to go back and see who that was. <laughs> okay, somebody says, what surgery? Thank you, Miss Alana. You love the shirt and the cap. Uh, you're going to go back. Oh, what the heck was I getting ready to say? Oh, what surgery? I'm going to be getting a tummy tuck, and I'm also going to be getting a breast lift, and I will be getting that. <laughs> All right, so now I got hot sauce. I turned this sauce up on high. You see, we got some heat now. Okay. So hold on, I feel like I'd rather use a spoon that has, or a spatula that has some holes in it because I don't want too much sauce. It's already been soaking in sauce, okay? Come on, look at this. Normally, if you go out and you get you a meatball sub, you can tell them, I, I always like to say light on the sauce. You know, you might like yours, just coat it crazy in sauce. And if you're that person, that's the fun about making it at home. You know, you can just douse it in all kinds of sauce if you like. I got to lick my fingers because I wouldn't be Gina Young if I didn't. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, this sauce right here is so good. Come on in, guys. You got to see the drizzle. Oh, supersonic. <laughs> I don't know why I said supersonic. This going to make you feel supersonic after you make this. Oh. Mmm. You, you can put hot sauce on this. Yes, you can. Dakota asked a great question. He said, Mom, can I put hot sauce on it? You bet you can. Dakota loves a good meatball sub. But he, he, listen, like when you go to Subway, you ask him what does he want. He wants a meatball sub, but there's no meatball sub like my sub. Is that right, Dakota? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yours oh. are the best. Okay, Mom, yours are the best. He's just saying that because he wants a new game. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you he don't get it. I bet you he don't get it. 
And I bet you that person up in the chat that prayed for me not to get the surgery, I bet you they don't get their prayer answered. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding with that person. But I do think that's kind of wild and ironic <laughs> at the same time. I'm definitely going to get that new <laughs> All right. Look at this, guys. Like, seriously. Hold on. Let me get rid of this cuckoo person. All right. Get him out of here. Look at this, guys. Come on. What kind of chips you want, Dakota? You want barbecue Pringles or salt and vinegar? Barbecue. Barbecue, okay. How's everybody doing? Dakota wants barbecue Pringles. And we're gonna give him just that. Tummy tuck and a breast lift, yes. I've been waiting, listen guys, I've been waiting a long time to get it, you hear me? And when I say a long time, I've been waiting a long time, since way before Dakota was born. So I, I will get it. All right. So now, which one you want? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. mo. You want mo? Okay. You you gonna get mo? You ain't gonna get that new game. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give you that little bit of cheese right there. All right. How's that? You want banana peppers on here? No, but I would like some hot sauce. Some hot one. sauce. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here's the original. I, I, I'll give him the extra hot. This is original. How's that? That looks great. Oh my goodness. Would y'all would y'all like to see Dakota do a taste test? <coughs> or no? He said no. He said no. That's okay, because you guys can watch me do a taste test. <laughs> All right, come on guys. I'm showing this to you right now. You want Parmesan cheese? Oh, definitely. And Italian seasoning. Definitely. Okay, so he wants, come in, let, they need to see what's happening here. They can't, we, we don't want them to miss nothing. Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, right? Yeah. Not too much Parmesan. Parmesan. All right, look at that. Come on, guys. Make you some Gina Young style. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, wait, there you go. I'm going to make me some, and I'm going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we'd like to thank you. I'm putting Italian seasoning on here. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for all of the subscribers and viewers today. I pray that you bless over their lives, bless over their families' lives, and keep them safe. Let no weapons formed against them prosper. We bind the devil away from all of us in the name of Jesus. Let that devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again, we put some Italian seasoning on, and now we're going to go in with some Parmesan. And we're having meatball subs here at the Young's house. Ron, I hope you, Ron, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and everyone else that's watching. Okay, so I'm going to also get some Pringles, but I'm not going to get the barbecue. I'm going to get the salt and vinegar. I, sometimes salt and vinegar, like, irritates the roof of my mouth. Hey, Christopher. He says, hey to everybody. You, uh, Lily says, my mouth is watering. Listen, I got a good old meatball sub recipe for you all. Any leftover meatballs? Make you some, uh, make you some spaghetti noodles for tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. I'm coming around, guys. Coming around. I'm coming around. Here, you want to fill some water in here, please? <clears throat> pepper jack cheese. Oh, he said pepper jack cheese is melting 
on his. That sounds so good. I love pe pepper jack cheese, and not only do I love it, I love it melting. Gina, if that's what you want to do, I pray that everything goes well, and it will. I don't want you to get it, but you will be just fine. <laughs> oh, was that Shirley Clark? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Brenda, hello. How are you? You're watching from... National Harbor, Maryland. Okay, welcome. Oh, he says garlic butter bread would be great for that. You bet it would. Oh, you bet it would. Pepper jack cheese is good. It's got a little bit of spice to it, you know. Um, it's got a little bit of spice to it. But it's not extremely hot. And it almost reminds me of a, uh, a white cheddar or a white American cheese with a little bit of spice going through it. I love it. I don't know why I didn't use it. Gina, uh, you'll be gone for two weeks, right? To recoup from surgery. My holy king, listen. I'm trying not to be gone at all. Because what I want to do, th th let me just explain what I want to do. After the surgery, I still want to interact with you guys. So I'll be doing like lives. I'll be like probably in the bed recovering, talking to you guys. Just probably laying down and doing live chats, okay? Since I won't be standing up doing videos. But it'll, it'll be all fun. You guys aren't going to miss me for one second. How about that? That's what I decided that I was going to do. Munster cheese. You bring up Munster cheese, and I love Munster cheese. Trudy is Twill Corp. I don't know what that is. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Any color blue. I love blue. <laughs> My husband has blue on today, and I love his outfit. There he is. <laughs> he said, you like anything blue. <laughs> Baby, I told him that I fell, that I fell right before the live. And Dakota was laughing at me. He was. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> I know I'm going to be just fine, absolutely. I got God on my side, and I have a lot of people praying for me. You'll be restricted. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do everything they tell me that I need to do. Any and everything they tell me I'm, I need to do, I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am going to keep doing lives. Here's I'm going to go ahead Take the microphone off so I can charge the camera. So you're going to hear a mute for a second, but my sound will come back in like right about now. Okay, you guys can, you guys can hear me. Everybody can hear me. All right, let's charge the camera. Let's turn the microphones off. Let's see, when you have God by your side, everything will be all right. Thank you, Raymond. Yes, you will be fine. Absolutely, I will. I, it's going to be a journey. You know, it, it's going to be a journey. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for all of it. Every part of it. <laughs> Sheila Spencer, it's not about other people. Let's see, I don't know what that means. And that's coming from... Kent Camley, haven't had it but heard when the muscles get tightened in the tummy, the discomfort is something else. But when we'll, but we'll be praying for you. You'll make it through and fabulous, darling. Oh, I can't, listen, I can't wait. I've never been so excited in my life. <laughs> I, I am, I am that excited. I don't care about pain. I'm just ready to get it done. <laughs> I don't care about a scar. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And I know some of you right now are like, oh, Lord. But I don't. I'm just telling you the honest truth. Hello, Latricia. She says, 
Hello to Gina Young in the chat. How are you? Just love your chef skills, and that's mom boss. Thank you. <laughs> Ted says, we hear you. <laughs> we hear you. <laughs> now, you may see me, aww, <laughs> you know, but hey. All right, how many of you want me to try this right now? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm feeling great today, Ron. Thank you for asking. All right, how about we take it? How about we taste it? Something about my lip gloss. What is your lip gloss? Okay, so what I'm going to do so I don't get messy is I'm going to bite it this way. I don't just want to take a huge bite into it, you know. I'm going in this way, okay? I'm going to bite that baby. Look at that. Take a bite. The great no, no water can go through it while it's up, remember? You gotta put it down and start siphoning the water. No, don't you're not gonna have to miss anything because you guys can watch my playlist. You hear me? You go, oh look at that. Look at that piece of cheese just drip, drip. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're not going to have to miss anything because you can watch my playlist over and over and over. And I'm going to be talking to you guys every single day. There's not going to be any mess in me, okay? Meatball sub. Mm, 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 mm. And it is good. Hold on, I'm going to take another piece. Like I said, I don't want to bite it because it's, you know, a little messy. Mm, look at this. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's cheesy. The meatballs have so much flavor, and the sauce is flavorful. Can somebody that cook with me today, can somebody tell me how theirs turned out? Mmm. Listen, that's good. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Look at this. That's a meatball sub for you. You know, when you go out, you get them from Subway, they definitely taste like they've been frozen. You know what I mean? They throw a bunch of sauce on. You don't get time to tell them a light on the sauce before they douse your, your bun with so much sauce to where when you pick it up, it falls apart. When you cook it at home, you can make your sub how you want. If you want seven meatballs, you can put seven meatballs on there. You know what I mean? Instead of three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's um, let me see. Trudy Williams is the one told you. Okay. Thank you, Twill Corp. Thank you. You did not want to toast it. Um, really, my, my um, I'd like to say this. I'm really not a fan of toasting buns. You'll rarely see me do it sometimes. Like if I'm making a lobster sub or something, um, I'll toast the bun. Most of the time, you won't see me toast the bun. Um, I don't want that extra oil that you need to toast the bun or the extra butter on it. It does make it nice and crispy. That's why I said if you guys want to toast a bun, absolutely, like, feel free. Mm. 
Christopher says, at My Holy King, I really enjoy spending time with you guys. You all are very respectful and kind. Thank you, Christopher. That's so nice. We enjoy having you here. Mmm. Love the waterfall. Okay, let me scoot over a little bit so you can see it. Sorry about that. Thank you. Oh, now look at the sauce right there. Oh, oh. Mm. I think, I don't think she meant any harm. Let me see. <clears throat> People told me not to get surgery. But it was my decision. Yes, Christy. There you go. Absolutely. You know, the thing is, a lot of people think just because you share something with them that, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Listen. Hey, it is what it is. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. This is one good meatball sub. Baby, you guys are going to enjoy this later. How are the dogs doing? They are fine. I see one puppy. Where's the other one? Uh-oh, he's got to use the bathroom. He's standing by the back door. Mmm. Lisa, I love pumpkin pie. <laughs> Grace, right. I haven't seen Saj in here. I thought I seen her in here earlier. I missed it on the internet. Was going in and out. What's Dakota saying about his sub? I'll ask him. This, his sub... His sub has been long gone. I'll have him, I'll ask him when he comes back in. He just took the dogs out. Let's see, we'll catch him right when he comes through that door right there. Yes, yeah, she was present. And I believe I spoke to her, but uh, I didn't see her after that. I will never use another meatball recipe. This is the best good flavor and easy to make. Thank you, Christy. Who let their dogs out? Dakota. <laughs> it's like when I read that, I had to sing it. <laughs> she does. Christopher Williams, you and Saj have, it said you and Saj have them laughing in here. I'm taking another bite. Like I said, I have to pull it apart because... I don't want to mess my shirt up. Mmm. Good flavor there. I'm just about done. I'm on my way. We go into my niece, Ginger. Re gen gender reveal. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Shirley Clark, have a good day. Thank you for coming in. Mm. He said he's done with his sub and coleslaw. Oh, okay, so Sonia said, my meatballs stay together I'm using your recipe. Usually some will fall apart. Thanks for sharing, you're very welcome. Okay. Say hi to Alfreda. Hello, Alfreda. D'Angela tells me to say hello to you. Mm. 
It does. Coleslaw says great. I don't have the day yet. Remember, we need to wait on the iron level to come up. Once we, Dakota, stop right there. They want to know. How was the meatball sub? Oh, the meatball sub was great. Meatball sub was great. <laughs> All right, get them babies back out of here while he's working on that fish tank. He put hot sauce on it. Huh? He put hot sauce on meatball He did. It was good. Get them in here to sit down while he's doing that, Dakota. He said the meatball sub was great. So that's great. What happened to Kool-Aid? You're not going to drink some? Well, here's the thing. When it comes to the Kool-Aid, I, you guys know I'm diabetic. I have to watch my sugar. So now, I will have some Kool-Aid, but just a little bit. You know, I just a little bit because you see me having bread. So when it comes to my carbs, I got to kind of, I got to watch things, you know. So when I have some, I'll have just a little swivel, just enough to taste on the palate. But more than anything, this is what I need. Water. Oh, thank you, Ron. You get a comment, Dakota. Ron Wilson says Dakota's workout is paying off. He's looking healthy. That's coming from Ron Wilson. Thank you. He can't hear you. Come in here so he can hear you. <laughs> thanks, Ron. Thank you. He said, thanks, Ron. Come show your face. Get over here and show your face. Get over here. <laughs> he said, thanks. <laughs> he said, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I tell y'all what, he's totally enjoying it is a waterfall juice miller. Um, um, I will have to find out. It was a company. Um, I told my husband that you all wanted to know where we purchased it. My husband told me he'll let me know. But it was a company that we never heard of. I'll find out where we got the waterfall and then I'll let you guys know. I don't eat ice. Um, I'm not one of the people that like to chew on ice. Thank you, Sonia. Sonia says Dakota looking handsome. There's the puppies. Look at them, guys. Look at those puppies. Look at those babies. Oh, my goodness. That's Prince on the blanket. And that's Polo right on the edge. Look at them. Ain't they sweet? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> they are they're pretty much chilling I, yeah I don't chew on ice I'm one of those people that um, I don't like to chew on hard things because I like to uh, I pay I, I, I don't want to mess my teeth up you know so things like I, I love Jolly Ranchers and before uh, before I had braces I bit down on a Jolly Rancher and it just, it was like, it cracked my tooth back here. And um, so, because when I have candies like a blow pop or something, I like to just crunch right into it. And my husband said, you are so impatient. He's like, you, you can't suck on that Jolly Rancher or that blow pop until it gets real small and then you bite it. And I'm like, no, I just want to bite that candy <laughs> and get down to the middle of the flavor. And that's how I broke one of my tooth years and years ago. So I stay away from chewing on ice and Jolly Ranchers and stuff like that. No, yeah, jaw, jaw breakers, no thanks. They, all that stuff tastes good, but it's not good for your teeth, you know? And so remember, this tooth back here uh, is an implant. Because that same tooth that broke, I had to get it pulled out. So... That tooth back there is because of that Jolly Rancher. <laughs> yeah. It pulled that baby out. And, you know, when I was younger, I didn't care that I had a big hole back there. But as I got older and I have this wide smile, I thought, I got to feel that. So it's an implant back there. And it costs pretty penny. So I don't want to chew on nothing hard. Oh, you have a waterfall. It has bears on it. Oh, that's so nice. 
Gina, hey Gina, Susan is finally on live. Uh, who is Susan? Uh, hey Gina, Suzanne is finally on live. Who is Suzanne? Thank you, DB. Why not gummy bears? Gummy bears are great. We love gummy bears here at the Young's house. Gummy bears, gummy worms, and stuff like that. But like I said, I gotta watch my sugar. Got to watch my sugar. Oh, but we love them. Who is Suzanne? You said Suzanne is finally on live. I don't know who that is. Most people that are anemic love to eat ice. I, I like to have ice in my drink, but I never chew it. Never want it to. Oh, you love chewing on soft ice, the snow ice. Oh, okay. We have a waterfall. Hey, Gina, Suzanne is finally on live. Can you please tell me who Suzanne is? I, I don't know who Suzanne is. I found some watermelon slices that are delicious. Oh, that sounds great. I went through the same thing with my iron before I found out. Let me see. I can't find Suzanne either, Ron. Let's see, I went through the same thing before I found out what was wrong. All I ate was ice. One, I got the iron infusions. The craving went away. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got iron infusions. Um, I just recently got two of them. And uh, I am so grateful that today I feel like 100%. That can't, that's not promising that I'm going to feel the best tomorrow. But today, I am so grateful that I feel so well. I have so much energy. I took a shot of, um, what is it called? Uh, Geritol. The iron, the iron stuff. It's nasty, but it's supposed to help your iron. Thank you, Ron. Yes, I am so grateful that I feel well today. Uh, how did you like your sub, honey? Uh, how did you like your uh, cheesesteak? Uh, like you like Subway better? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was too wet. Oh. Okay, she can't type and get on because she's watching on TV. Okay, well, tell Suzanne I said hello and thank you for watching and coming in. You're getting over a diabetic coma. I understand the feeling. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're sitting outside with your family, Alan. How nice. There's nothing like sitting outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm sure it's not 100 degrees out, you know. And just sitting outside enjoying life with your family. Like, there's nothing like it, especially when it's beautiful fall weather, right? Tell your family I said hello. You are almost blinded by your diabetes at one time at work. Oh, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you like strawberry smoothies? Um, I like smoothies, but I can do without them. I like smoothies, but it's not something that I have all the time. I've showed you guys how to make smoothies, but I don't do smoothies. Just be honest. Oh, you like shaved ice okay so for um, I turned around and purchased a pie that I am going to bake and we're gonna have um, there well they're gonna have ice cream over top of the pie for dessert I, I'm gonna have some <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit Let's see, I think, okay, so Bonita says, I think my iron is low because I crave corn starch like crazy. Is that odd? That is odd. I've heard people that eat it, but I think it's totally disgusting. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm not saying there's nothing, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you. But I cannot even imagine wanting to eat corn starch. I don't like touching it. When I touch it, it goes, ah! oh, no. I don't, uh-uh, 
when I rub my fingers through it or do like this, it's like, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine just putting it in my mouth and wanting to eat it. So, but I've heard that there's people out there, I'm not saying you're odd or anything like that, but hey, if you like it, then you, I don't know, I don't know if it's good for you, I don't know. Yeah, some people are addicted to it. I don't understand how. Like, did you grow up eating cornstarch? Like, that's the question that I have. Oh, Mary Jane says, I'm the same way. It has a strange feeling. It does. She said, some people eat clay. It's called pica. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Holy King says, I want a coconut cream pie. That sounds good. Yeah, she said, Debbie says some people love to eat clay. Not me. <laughs> That's what I've heard, Sonia. Some people are addicted to it. I know, Dolores. She said, who eats that? I, I guess there's people out there. That like, and just like Christopher's saying right now, he said there's even people that like to eat paper. There's people that like to eat all kinds of stuff, you know. There's people that like to eat <laughs> all kinds of stuff. He said, say what, clay? I don't know what kind of clay. <laughs> he said, I saw a lady. <laughs> he said, I saw a lady down <laughs> He said, I saw a lady that only ate dirt. <laughs> uh, what are we cooking for Thursday, Gina? Um, today is Saturday. We will be deciding what we're going to be making for Thursday. Is that something that you guys, let's see, I saw the woman, I saw somewhere this woman was addicted to eat. <laughs> somewhere there was this lady that was addicted to eating toilet paper <laughs> that's not uh, turn it around yeah, no, this ain't right. to, to, I'm serious she was in third world country and she was chowing down on dirt <laughs> guys I'm trying not to laugh don't do that to me Quit, quit saying that stuff. <laughs> Sonia said, I heard about the toilet paper and I don't understand it. They must enjoy it. <laughs> I don't want to eat toilet paper. I don't want to eat, she said, sell it on YouTube. <laughs> did you turn off your stove? I did, yeah. <laughs> What, what, Dakota? He said, is it two ply or one ply? <laughs> what does he even know about two and one ply toilet paper? We need that good quality. He said, you need that good quality <laughs> toilet paper. He said four ply. It was four ply. <laughs> There's a show called My Strange Addiction. <laughs> she said, oh my goodness, Christopher. <laughs> Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> she said, Dakota, you are too funny. Uh, Gwendolyn, hello, how are you? Thank you for coming in. It was Scott's Tissue. They said, Scott's Tissue is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Ron says it was four ply. totally nuts y'all are nuts in here sometimes oh, i got a baby scratching at my foot right now 
Oh man, you guys are so funny. It was two ply at the time. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Hold on. Now when my eyes start to water. All right, relax. Okay, come here. Come here, honey. Come here. <laughs> Say hi, okay? You say hi to everybody, okay? Tell them that you're a good boy. Look, look at the camera, honey. <laughs> Chalk. Chalk is good, too. <laughs> Quit, I can touch your foot. Don't move your foot from me. Give me your foot. Give me your foot. Come here. You a baby? Oh, yeah. You a baby? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's Prince. He wants to get pulled up here. Okay, okay, okay. Come here, honey. Come here. Here's a baby. Now there's a baby. <laughs> Look at that. 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 Oh, oh, he usually wraps his arms around me when I'm holding him. <laughs> I do. I love him half to death. You hear me? Oh, they cuddle with me. When I brought this one home, this one right here, Prince, he would lay in my hair. He would lay completely in my hair, and I loved every bit of it. Look at him. You see him wrapping my arms? It never fails. However you pick him up, he'll wrap his feet or his arms around you to hold on. <laughs> yes, he is so sweet. He's a good boy. That's yeah. Right. How do you tell them apart? Well, they're different colors, and he looks more like a baby. And Polo is darker, and Polo looks more like a no, big boy. Bad. But uh, my husband said, and Polo's bad, <laughs> and he's not bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, and it. they do look different ah. a lot of times um, when you, uh, a lot of times when people first see them, they're like, I can't tell the difference. But literally, you'll get used to them, and you'll be able to see the difference. I love you, baby. He a good boy. He's a good boy. And look at my husband. He's look look at him spoiling him. Look, can you come over here, honey, and show him? No, so they <laughs> look at him. Let me see. <laughs> He's got that one. You can see the difference in the colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are so spoiled. <laughs> He already been in the camera. Oh, and see now this one. Now you can really see the difference. You see the difference in him. He does show his face. Oh. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> Let's see. Never shows us his face. He is a celebrity. <laughs> he shows his face sometimes. Ah, oh, look, 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 look. Mm. Oh, you a good boy. All right, get down. <laughs> they, uh, listen, I love them so much. When they go to sleep, they, they turn on their backs and their legs are spread wide open. And the front legs are spread wide open. Yeah, I did. And, um, they sleep like this. And I, I was reading on the internet that it says when they sleep like that, they are um, comfortable um, and at peace. They said if a dog sleeps and he's curled up, you know, um, they said when they're curled up, they um, are scared, they're cold, or they're protecting their organs because they're scared something's going to get them. You know, like a, uh, a wild animal or something. But they sleep just like this. And it's so funny, and their feet will be way up in the air. <laughs> and 
it is interesting, right? <laughs> we was definitely thinking about doing a channel, uh, but we'll see. You want to make up a hot soapy uh, water for me that has bleach in it and put those spices away? I do, I do. They are in Columbus, Ohio, Vivian. Where are you? Let's see. Yeah. But they're older, you know, they're moved out. I think that's the same for humans, the way we sleep. Yes, describes how we feel. But yeah, they definitely say that. What are you doing, honey? They say that about the dogs. And it's totally true. They have separate personalities, different personalities. And like I said, they love each other so much. They haven't been separate for one day of each other's lives. Uh, You'll take them out? Okay. I'm in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, thank you for answering. Yes, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, we actually moved out of town, Vivian, but they didn't move with us. They have their own, you know, they work, you know, and, and they have other things going on. They have their own house and things like that. So they weren't able to move out of town with us like i said they didn't live with us so but when they were much younger maybe when i first started the channel you guys saw them a whole lot you know because they were teenagers but they're over 20 now let's see uh they are precious I could only imagine the love you have for your babies. Absolutely. Those fur baby siblings. Yes. They are barking. What? What are they out there barking? If the neighbor's outside, they, they bark at everybody. I hope they're not barking at my neighbors. I have like the best neighbors on both sides of me. I love the neighbors here and I love the neighbors right next to me. I don't want him barking at him. <laughs> he's barking at the neighbors. He are? Oh, no. He said he is barking at the neighbors. Don't do that. We got, we got good neighbors. Don't do that. <laughs> so my, my Holy King says, at Debbie Parker, how do you sleep? I don't know why he's asking that. Let me see. Uh... Let's see. Love your channel. Okay, same boat. 1.30. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, curled up. Yeah, a lot of people sleep. Uh, people do sleep, <clears throat> excuse me, curled up because they're always cold. You know, so, so, you know, that's why they say the dog scared or they're protecting their organs because they're afraid, you know, or they're just not comfortable. And they, they like I said, they sleep just like that. <laughs> And they look so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yours is 30. Okay. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so, listen. Tell me this. Did you guys have a good time making these beautiful meatballs? Hey, listen. It was easy, right? The meatballs was so easy. <clears throat> Yeah, they are just like babies. Uh huh. Thank you, honey. Here, Nicole, you're you're supposed to be. Okay, you got this. Okay. Hi, Latanya says hi, Miss Gina. Hello, how are you, Latanya? I think that's your name. Thank you for coming in and joining us. <laughs> Let me scoot over so you guys can see the waterfall. It looks like the sun is finally starting to come down. It's evening time. You can see it is still a little bright. What time is it? 
Oh, you said I'm well, Miss Gina. Okay, that's great. Latricia, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for welcoming LaTanya Christopher. Very nice. Hey, Gina, did you guys decide on we're going to do the YouTube channel? We're about it. We are very, very, very busy. So we're still thinking about it. So, you know, you're saying, um, I worked at a subway for years, so I already had a recipe that I used to use. But they, oh, okay, yeah. I'm learning how to drive. Oh, that's great, Alan. Enjoy the whole day with Gina and her family and everyone in the chat. Thank you, my holy king. Oh, okay. I have Italian beef, ground beef, and rotel. That sounds good. Okay, so in Atlanta, it's 7 p.m. Okay. I'm hoping you feel much better today. Tyrese, I do. I feel much better. Thank you. <clears throat> the weather is breaking here. Oh, is it, Latricia? Okay. Yeah, it should be for many, many people, you know, because it's fall time. I'm ready to get the uh, fall decorations out. You know, I do the fall decorations every year. And it's a lot of fun for me. And then I do the Christmas decorations in the kitchen. So I'm getting kind of antsy. Dakota asked me today, he said, or when he saw the kitchen towels, he said, are we going to get the uh, leaves out? I said, yeah. I don't know when. I don't want him to go down there and make a mess. Um, it's National Horchata. Her, her, yeah, Horacha. Remember Patricia? Remember Patricia? I said her. Paracha, a cucaracha, and you guys were laughing at me, and I told y'all, I think that that means killed a cockroach, and y'all just was dying laughing at me. But come to find out, there is a song that says la cucaracha, la cucaracha, and they're talking about killing the cockroach. So when I purchased that drink, and I didn't know how to say it, and you guys said it's not called horacha, it's called, um, it's called... Por, porchata. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> 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 My husband was laughing. He said, I'm glad somebody else said it. <laughs> that, that you saying it wrong. <laughs> La cucaracha. I thought it would, I thought the drink had cockroaches in it. But it, it, it's horchata. I gotta get horacha and horchata. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to remember not to say uh, coracha. I need to say horchata. I'll get it together one day. I'm gonna keep practicing. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I like your pronunciation better. See, see, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patricia! <laughs> Patricia said, "I like your pronunciation better." Tell her she's a great fan. He said, "You're a great fan." <laughs> 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 he laughs at me when I pronounce different yeah, things. <laughs> yeah, she really on your team. <laughs> Sonia says, yeah. "Sonia said I haven't seen roaches in years." Oh man. I don't want to see them. <laughs> he said, no brown noses allowed. I don't want to see. I've seen enough in my life. And my husband said, I don't want to see a roach. He said, I've seen enough in my life. Uh-uh, ever. <laughs> I'd rather see a mouse. He said he'd rather see. Oh, Lord. I would rather see a mouse. He said, I would rather see a I mouse. I would rather see a mouse than a roach all day. He said, I would rather see a mouse, a ma a mouse than a roach all day. Uh -uh. Not me. I would rather, I would be covered in, in, in roaches rather than see one measly uh, uh, mice. Uh, 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 yes. Y'all probably ain't had roaches <laughs> I didn't grow up with you roaches. You didn't grow up with roaches. See, I, I didn't. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, I hate them. My, my husband said, I hate them. Uh, uh. <laughs> see, see, I, I'm, like I said, if I see one, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Done what for what? A rope? A, a, a mouse. A mouse ain't not good. That's 
see a mouse. Mouse gonna come in. No, it's not. A mouse is unstoppable. He said a mouse is unstoppable. A he mouse said, is unstoppable. He said he said a mouse is unstoppable. Yeah, they gonna yeah, come yeah. in. They're not gonna come in here. He can come anywhere he wants to get I bet in. you he won't. He can get in the size of a penny. I bet you I'll put up a fight. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I will put up a fight <laughs> if a mouse come in here. Or I'll be vlog I'll be vlogging from the nearest hotel. Oh, <laughs> he man. said, get a cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he and Raymond said, what about the flying ones? He said, they fly on you. A flying what? A flying roach. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. That's, I can't do them. He said that now. I can't do he them. said, now I, that's I can't disgusting. Do them. I can't do them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a flying roach? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah you're right, Sue, see, Sue. See, Sue says, at least you could find something to kill the roach. That's how I feel. Smash it and be done. But a mouse, I'm going to try to get on top of the cabinets. Like, you know that little space, you know, that you have above the cabinets? I'll sit up there. I wouldn't, I, feel, I I wouldn't see a roach all day. And then as soon as I get some company, here you want to come running. Get across the wall. My husband said, my husband said when he was younger, he said, I wouldn't see a roach all day. He said, and then as soon as he gets some company come over to spend a the night, there they come crawling right across the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> and, and everybody act like they didn't see it. <laughs> oh, you said old mills like Dan River Mills had them bad and they were as big as what? They were biggest praying mantis. <laughs> oh, Dana said they both dis. She said they both disrespectful. <laughs> they both disrespectful. What well, roaches and mouse? Yeah, roaches and mouse. Yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> totally. Yeah. He said there's a six inch. Uh, D Saturday said there's six inch roaches. That's crazy. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's he's saying, but he's you. Almost a, he's almost an animal. That's almost an animal. Yeah, that my husband said that six inch roach is almost the animal. <laughs> he he said he said and you can eat both of them. Uh uh. Uh yeah, See, I almost said something. No. Uh uh. Water bugs. I don't care about water bugs. I'm okay with water bugs, but the mice. That's one thing. She's scared of mice, man. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Someone says, I'll give you 3,000 to eat a mouse. What would you do? Dakota said. You think 3,000. Get out of here. Stuff. <laughs> That's not enough. Would you? Oh, you're decorating for fall, Alan. That sounds so nice. There you go. How was the caramel apples that you made this week? They were great. Thank you for asking. Uh, he said roast them. He said you could roast them with pearl onions. What? The, mi roast? the mice and the roaches. With pearl onions? Yeah, the little white onions. <laughs> That's so nasty. Only to survive. Oh. To survive. He said, he said the roaches pop up when people come over and be like, uh, where the party at? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you have good friends when they act like they don't see them. He said, you know you got good friends when they act like they don't see them. <laughs> he said that happened to him when he was little. Come on, man, you see that rose like I see. <laughs> oh, my Holy King said the New York rats are gangster. I heard. I've heard about that. I heard about them. I've seen them actually on the video. I've seen it they on the video. running through the streets. I've everything. seen it on the video too. 20 deep. Yeah. I don't know how my health would be if I lived out there. Where? In, in New York? Yeah, to just be able to go outside and see a rat. I don't know. I, I don't know how my health would be. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be able to come outside. Yeah. Juice Miller says, that's why I keep a clean apartment. Don't have to worry about them. Ooh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely. <laughs> Your neighbors can send them. Ooh, that's scary. They can. Uh oh, Tandria says, in the subway, they attack you. Huh? <laughs> in the subway, they attack what, you. The, 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 the rats. The rats. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen videos of it. Yeah, it looks crazy. Yeah, no. that's scary. Do Mr. Young play golf? His outfit says so. 
<laughs> his outfit today says so. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Uh, I'll take that. He said, I'll take that. I'll take but that. he doesn't play golf. I'll, probably, I'll mess around and put out my own eye. <laughs> he said, I'll mess around and put my own eye out with the, with the golf club. So remember last. Leave that up to him. Yeah, remember the house before this house. We lived on a golf course. And mm -hmm. it was so much fun to watch them play golf, but we had no interest. Uh -huh. No interest in playing golf. <laughs> charge this for it. Yeah, they, they charge you for it, though, to live out there. Yeah, they do. Look at Prince. What is Prince doing? He's just standing there looking in the bathroom. My, okay. That's why I'm surprised y'all don't play golf. Oh, yeah, no, we don't play golf. We don't play golf, but we, mm -hmm. it, like I said, it was a beautiful home. I wouldn't mind learning. I wouldn't. He said he, he wouldn't mind learning. Yeah, because every, every, every year, all the athletes like to do it. He said he would not mind learning, but as of right now, we don't know how to play golf. I'm an ex-athlete. I need to learn. He said... <laughs> <laughs> Laughing so much, I have tears dropping. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. So you said you would like to learn? Yeah. Golf's hard. Yeah? Golf's challenging. Yeah? That's why athletes like to do it. It's very, 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 very challenging. Yeah? yeah. He said golf is pretty challenging. It is. Golf's not easy. Oh, thank you so much for um, Terrell is saying he likes the hat. How did you two meet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks with me swatting flies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell y'all if you want to hear. If you don't want to hear, I won't tell you. If I get red hearts all up in the comment section, I'll tell you guys. Mm. <laughs> Oh, ladybugs. Yeah, ladybugs are pretty cute, right? So when we get a ladybug in the house, we automatically say luck, <laughs> right? And then you, you don't smash them. You don't take them outside. You, don't, you just let them live in your house if it's a ladybug. <laughs> Look at all the people. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, it's red hearts all in the comment section. Uh, oh, you can see on my computer. Look, look. <laughs> I was sitting on my porch swatting flies. I think she was walking to the laundry mat. mat. Yeah. Oh, red hearts is everyone's everywhere. Somebody said do tail. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that whoever you are, let me see who you are. I got to see who this is. I got to see who this is and said, do tell, because you are so nosy. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that's Viv Vivian. Vivian says tail. <laughs> that thing was what, 20, 19 or 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's 25. <laughs> they said we are nosy and we love great <laughs> Look, listen. <laughs> we are nosy and we love great love stories. <laughs> Spill the tea. <laughs> they they will pressure you in here. I'm sweating. Look at me, I'm sweating in here. <laughs> Spill the tea, Gina. That's Debbie yeah, Parker. Yeah, you're your heart, friend. Uh-huh. Look, the dogs, yeah. I don't know what they got going on in my in that bedroom, honey. So I you was acting like you didn't hear me and all that. And <laughs> okay. Walking past. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's how it all happens. So now I You live in the same apartment complex? Yeah. We lived in the same Let's go. Let the truth out. <laughs> and that's Ron. <laughs> Let's go. Let the truth out now. <laughs> we're waiting. Stephanie says we're waiting. 
<laughs> I mean, you guys are so funny. Please tell, tell it all. That's Eula. And she, Eula hardly says anything, but she's saying. Oh, you, yeah, she said, please wait. tell it all. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh oh, and Gina says, I got my popcorn ready. <laughs> mm. I was sitting on the porch. All right, all right. Uh, being bad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so listen. Here, here's how it goes. So now, we stayed in, come on with it, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Juice Miller says, I, I need popcorn. <laughs> My husband is laughing at you guys. Okay, let me get a snack. Okay, okay, grab a snack. I'm going to wipe the sweat off. Oh, wait, look, look, huh? That's how my hair looks when I, uh, you know, don't do my hair. And then you look, I look like my hair is done. Okay, listen. Here's how it goes. So, we stayed in the same apartment complex. Okay? His laugh, you love it. You know, I'll tell you one thing about my husband. He's so loud. He's not, he's not like loud on a daily basis. Well, yes, he is. <laughs> not in public, but he's a normal, like his voice carries. Um, he's not loud and obnoxious or nothing like that, but he just, his voice carries. So listen, we stayed in the same apartment complex, okay? And I stayed right here, and he stayed right here, okay? You see where my finger is? I stayed here, he stayed here. And um, where we lived, you would have to, when it was time to go wash your clothes, they didn't have a washer and dryer hookup. This was in 97. But they did have a laundry mat where you would go, take your clothes, wash your clothes, dry your clothes there, and then you bring them back home. So on my way to, or, or um, if you wanted to go get your mail, you would have to walk you know, towards like the rental office and where the laundry room was. So whether I was going to get my, uh, do my laundry or get my mail, check my mail or something like that, I did have to go. His house was here, my house was here. I did have to go through here. So I had to go between me and his house, you know. And from the time I would step out the door, he's like, hey, excuse me. What's your name? <laughs> hey, excuse me. Right, I keep on walking. I might have my laundry basket in my hand or, or just keys because I'm going to go check my mailbox. But I'm just trucking, just walking and not paying him no attention because I don't know this guy. He's like, <clears throat> excuse me, what's your name? I'm you like, I'm like, he said, he just said you was fronting. <laughs> he just said you was fronting. <laughs> he just said you was fronting. <laughs> So I'm just walking, I am walking, trying to get to my destination, take my laundry or check my mailbox. And on my way back, I had to go past his house to get to my house. You know, my house was here, his was here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what's your name? I keep on going. I always heard him. And I always would kind of look from the side of my eye, you know, but I was scared. <laughs> he said I was fronting. <laughs> I was fronting the whole time. Right? So now one time, so that, that would happen quite often. <clears throat> one time he decided to walk with me. I was going to the laundry mat. I had clothes. I had clothes in the washer that needed to go in the dryer. He decided to follow me to the laundry mat and now he's walking with me and he's talking to me ask me what my name is and things like that i got to know his name <clears throat> and um i i remember when i was taking my stuff out of the washer putting it in the dryer he started helping me put my stuff in the dryer and i was thinking oh really like this is nice right like, but I didn't know him. I was shy, kind of shy. I, I'm really naturally a shy person. 
you know. Um, you guys see me come out of my element when I'm cooking. Because, like, cooking is my everything, right? So I'm, like, you know, like, really out of my shyness when I'm cooking and I'm teaching. But he started helping me put my wet clothes that was washed in the dryer. And I just backed up and let him help me, you know. I was hoping he wasn't looking at my underclothes and stuff that was coming out the washer, you know, going in the dryer. But when it was time to go back, of course, I had a basket. And um, he helped me carry that basket back to my place. And then we would sit at the front doorstep and just kind of talk, right? And we talked and talked and talked. He, he didn't go in, but I told him thank you. You know, he finally got to know my name. After so many times of me walking back and forth, him asking my name, and I never answered because I was scared. But then one day, um, like I said, he would always talk to me all the time. But then one day, he knocked on the door, and I was just like, but we did that for a long time. He always talked, stop, stop me, talk to me for a while, you know, before I got back to my house or before I would get to the laundromat. And then one day, he knocked on my door. And I was so busy. I was doing something. I had food going. And that, that's when I talk about I was baking some chicken and some rice. And I was so busy, I was just like, you want, you want to come in for a second? Because I was busy. He's like, sure. He came in, and he's like, you can't cook, can you? Can you cook? And that's what I was thinking, can I? What? So he tried that food, and he thought it was amazing. And then every day after that, he came back. <laughs> he had a knock on the door. And then I started making sure that my hair was looking nice, you know. Maybe I had on a nice outfit or something. I mean, I wouldn't dress up or anything because I'm always a jean person. Jean, sweatpants, tennis shoes. That's, that's just me. But anyways, um, he start coming over all the time. And then I would just be like, come in. And um, one, day, one day he told me, he sat down on this chair that I had. He was like, come here. And this is after we knew each other for a while. Um, he was like, come here. And I, and I went over there. And he was like, come. He, he was like, just sit on my knee real quick. And I'm thinking, what? He said, take your shoe off. I took my, I think I just had socks on. And I took my sock off. And he was like, yes. And I said, what's that for? Guys, I got to use the bathroom. Hold on one second. Give me two seconds. All right, guys, she had to use the bathroom. She'll be back in around two minutes.
So now, let's get back to where we was at. Sorry about that. I had to go. I was holding it. Okay, so listen. So, uh, my husband tells me, he say, sit on my lap real quick. And I was thinking, oh, Lord. But I did. I just sat on his knee. And um, he said, can you take your sock off or my shoe, whatever. I think it was my sock. I took it off. And he says, yes. And I'm thinking, what the heck is he talking about? He was like, oh, man, I'm so glad you got cute feet. He was like, because if you didn't have cute feet, we wasn't going nowhere. And I'm thinking, what? He was like, you got beautiful feet. And I was like, well, thanks, right? I thought that was kind of weird. But then my husband told me, he was like, I like nice feet. He was like, if they wasn't cute, we couldn't go any further with this relationship. I always thought that was funny. But my husband loves my feet. But anyways, so we finally got into a relationship and things like that. Um, and then uh, that year that we had our first Thanksgiving together, like I said earlier, in the live earlier, that's the year that he asked me to marry him when I made that Thanksgiving. I made a beautiful Thanksgiving. And right after we ate, he asked me to marry him. And I was like, yes. And it was just, it was beautiful. <laughs> and so that's how we met. That's how we met. That's our story. <laughs> And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's our story. <laughs> Some people <even> say, wow. <laughs> yes, and every year has been such a blessing. We have been together, like I said, since 97, and, and all of the years has been so blessed and beautiful. <laughs> And pretty feet and great food. <laughs> Thank you. But then, like I said, throughout the years, I've um, uh, learned the things that the foods that he loved as a child, or um, you know, he. Um, I've learned all of his favorite stuff. You know, you have to learn each other. You have to learn to communicate with each other. You have to learn to respect each other, to treat each other good. You gotta learn what each other likes and what each other don't like, you know? And there's so many things and you gotta learn to be patient as well, you know? And uh, there's a lot to a relationship and a lot of people say, man, y'all been together since 97. Yes, we have. But um, like I said, all of those things, whether it's communication, you gotta learn how to trust each other. You gotta learn how to be faithful. Everything. You gotta learn. And we basically grew up together. You know, even though I was 20 or turning 20, whatever I was, you, you got to learn each other and learn what's the best for each other and have each other's best interests at heart. And you also gotta pray for each other. You know, like you really, really do. We pray for each other. You know. Oh, you was one years old in 97. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so here we are. <laughs> that is our beautiful story. <laughs> he would say, oh, so one time, let me, I didn't tell y'all all everything. So, so before he... Was it before he started coming in the house? Because it was a long time before he even came in the house. Um, he, but like I said, he, we would sit and talk outside forever, you know, before he came in. But uh, one time I was watching him out my living room window. He was going to work and there was like a bush, like a, you know, a bush. 
he had, I don't know if he had a fly swatter or he had something in his hands. And he was doing like this, right? Hold on, let me scoot it back so you can see what I'm doing. He's doing this, right? And I'm, th and I'm looking out the window wondering, what the heck is this guy doing? Like, I don't know him yet, but I'm, I'm looking at him, you know, through my shades. You know, you know how you can open up blinds just a little bit just to see somebody? I'm opening up the blinds a little bit. I look out, and he's doing this. Right? I'm thinking, what the heck is he doing? Come to find out, he was swatting bees. <laughs> there was bees in the bush. <laughs> he didn't want the bees to get him before he went to work. He was swatting bees one day. And I had told him, I think it was that evening, I said, what the heck was you out there doing, right? He said, it was bees. It was bees all in that bush. And even to today, we talk about so many different things. We've been through so many different things. I was, I was spying. I was spying through that blind. I had it open this much, but I had it open on the corner so you couldn't see the blind open in the middle. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know I was looking out there, but I was watching. I wonder what he was swatting at. <laughs> I was peeping, yeah. <laughs> And don't tell us he was dancing on his way to work. No, he wasn't. He was swatting bees. <laughs> the attraction dance. Yeah, he was swatting them bees. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I'm smiling so much. I got, you know how it hurts? It literally hurts right here. <laughs> um, and then, so I'd like to say the place, that place where we met we must have stayed out there for together maybe a good six months. And then we turned around and got our own place somewhere and it was a beautiful place. Oh my goodness. It, it, was, it was beautiful. So then we got our first place together and it was history. We did not. We went downtown to get married and it was great. It was just me and him. But it was great. It was so great. But my husband always says he would love to go, like maybe to Vegas or something, and get remarried so we can have nice pictures. He always says he'd love to do that. And the song, um, I think it was Tony Terry that sang the song, When I'm With You. He said he would love to have that song being played. So he always says that. Um... So yeah, I think that's coming in the future. I don't know when. Thank you, Stephanie. Where, where did you go on your first date? Oh my goodness. Um, I really have to think about that. That is a hard question because we's always going somewhere. Um, I don't know, but we have never been, like, we never, oh, you love that song. Okay, Tandria, yeah. You said you like the When I'm With You song, yeah. <laughs> invite your friends <laughs> or invite your, what do you say, invite your fans. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> Y'all mean, yeah, that's what we're going to do, Juice Miller. And that song would be perfect. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what kind of car did he have? He had, I'd like to say, don't quote me. I'll have to ask him what kind of car it was. Because I don't know the exact, I don't know what kind it was. And, and see me, I, I'm, um... I didn't drive. My husband actually taught me how to drive. Yes, he did. He taught me how to drive when I was in, I'd like to say, I was in my early 30s. 
he taught me how to drive. And um, he said, if he had to go through that again, he would never teach me how to drive. <laughs> he said I was so hard-headed, I would not listen. <laughs> but I had so much fun. I had so much fun. He taught me how to drive. Now, I, a lot of you might not know this about me. I don't drive. I don't like to drive. I can drive. I can get where I need to get if I need to get there. The reason why I don't really like to drive or prefer to drive is because um, I have a bad sense of direction. I, I know, I know. You're like, Gina, how do you remember these recipes like that? Well, it's totally different. That's two different things, right? Um, I have a bad sense of direction. I have a fear of getting lost. <laughs> so I, I don't want to be out there freaking out on the road. You know what I mean? A lot of people, and even adults, they always wonder, like, she can't drive herself. You know what I mean? He might be say, I need to take Gina here. I'm going to take Gina here, whatever. You know, um, but a lot of people don't know or didn't know that I don't really prefer to drive. I don't want to be freaking out on the road. So everywhere um, that I go, he's always taken me. And I had told him one day, I said something. And he's like, I would, he was like, I would take you anywhere you have to go whenever you need to go, anytime you need to go. He's like, it is never, ever a problem of me taking you somewhere that you need to go, somewhere you need to be, whatever. You know, and I'm like, thank you, you know. I, now, like, let's just say um, we need to take one of the cars to the shop or something. Well, then, you know, he needs to go drop the truck off or something or whatever. I'll, I'll follow behind him, and then we come back home and wait. You know, I'll do that. I used to do shopping myself. I would go drive myself, you know, but if it's somewhere where I don't know that I, how, I don't know how to get there already, mm -mm, I'd, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'd rather have somebody take me. Not somebody. I'd rather have my husband take me or I won't go because <laughs> I don't want to get lost. I don't want I got the horrible sense of direction. It's so crazy. And my dad, when I was younger, he used to be like, you can, you don't know how to, he, he would be like, you don't, I'm like, dad, I'll get, I get nervous. I get nervous. I don't want to get nervous out there on the street. <laughs> and now I don't even do um, driving to go to the store because um, so many people know me and I just would rather order it you know what I mean I would rather order it in today's world people are totally nuts and I don't want to come across any cuckoos you know while I'm out there driving so I'd rather order it online and have it delivered here whatever it is you know oh Adija you said I get nervous too yeah I do and that's just me that's just a part of me and how I am I get freaked out on the road You said, I understand. Yep, that's just me. I know. I know, Ron. I totally agree. Oh, you don't know how to drive at all? Yeah. But like I said, I was in my early 30s. He taught me how to drive, and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I did get one ticket in my whole life. Um, it was because I ran um, a red light. I was going to work at Walmart, and it was early in the morning. It must have been 4 in the morning past that red light they was like whoop whoop and I thought oh crap I gotta be at work I think I was late too but um yeah oh you said you hate driving at night oh I know <laughs> you said well I thought I was the only one no it I, here's the thing there's, there's so many people, there's even famous people that don't, wouldn't step foot in a car and try to drive. Cardi B, she doesn't drive at all and she has all these beautiful cars, <laughs> Yeah, you know, and she's like, just drive me because uh, I don't want to drive, I don't want to learn how to drive. That's, that's how I am. I know how to drive. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't want to get lost. You, you know, hey, listen, listen, 
I, I, I wonder if this comes from this. We went to the fair when I was little. We went to the fair. And I believe, don't quote me on this, I think I got lost at the fair. And then I had to go up to the people and tell them who my dad was and that I was lost. I think that kind of messed with my mental and uh, made me feel like everywhere where I'm going to go, I'm going to get lost. I want, no, I'm serious. This may sound funny. Ooh, there's a gnat in here. Uh, but I wonder, I, I seriously always wonder, is that um, why I'm like that? Because I got lost one time. But you know what? I was lost for about 10 minutes. Those people found my dad. I don't know if they called him over like a speaker or something. And, um, you know, but <laughs> I have a fear of getting lost. One time my husband had me take him. I took him somewhere. And then he was trying to give me directions. <laughs> I was young. He was trying to give me directions over the phone how to get back. I wound up, listen, I wound up in the cornfield somewhere and I was just like, oh, this is nuts. I was so mad. He was on the phone. He was like, listen. He was like, okay, where are you at? <laughs> I was like, I'm in a cornfield. <laughs> around you all right I start telling him he was like okay what you need to do is do this and he guided me all the way to where I needed to go I was so mad I was mad <laughs> I was so mad I wasn't mad at him I don't know what I was mad at but I was just so I was burning up I was so mad I just thought I wasn't gonna be able to find my way <laughs> I just thought I wasn't going to be able to find my way back home. And I thought that was the end of me. <laughs> that, that's how freaked out I'll get, you know. So, uh, lo and behold, I made it back home. <laughs> he was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord, this girl. <laughs> A lot of wasted gas, yes. <laughs> Oh, you was, D Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> You're inside now. You're watching a show with your family. Okay, Alan, that's great. <laughs> I wasn't actually in the cornfield, but I felt like I was in Doohick City. Like, I was so scared. There was nothing around but cornfields. You know, not in the cornfield. Like, not literally my car was not in a cornfield. But what I'm saying, all around me was farmland. And I was just like, oh, no, this is it. <laughs> it's the end of me. <laughs> I, I was so mad. <laughs> you didn't realize it was like that with people. It's like that with me. You know, but, you know, here's the thing. Every single person has some And that's what I have about me, which is I freak out on the road. Because um, my sense of direct, like, 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 my sense of direction on the road, I don't understand, like, what happens. Now, let's talk about something different. So, if we sit there, you're feeling better now. Great, Mildred. Oh, this is awesome. It was scary, Sandra, you know. I'm glad you're feeling better, Mildred. Now, if we talk about, let's talk about a recipe, right? <clears throat> because I have that part of me, which I'm not ashamed to tell anybody because I really don't care. You know, that doesn't define who I am because I have a bad sense of direction. Who cares about that, right? I can still get around and get things that I need, you know? When it comes to a recipe, I can see a recipe made, I can hear a recipe being made without even watching it, and it gets stored in here like a freaking computer. And I'll never forget how to make it. Right? I feel like that's a gift that I have. 
But when I get on the road and I don't know where I'm going, even if I'm trying to use directions, total freak out, total wipe out, going nuts because I don't know. It's like, it's, it's almost like not really, but I'm just going to use this as an example, but not really. It's almost like, you know how when you as a kid, somebody spin you around, spin you around, spin you around. And then when you um, stop spinning around, you're, your head is still spinning, like you, like the room and everything is still spinning, and you're just standing there like this. That's what I feel like, you know. But when it comes to everything else, it's like this. But with that one thing in my life, it's like I can live with it. You, you know what I mean? And that's how you have to look at it, and that's how I had to look at it, you know. <laughs> you said Atlanta meltdown. <laughs> Let me see what you're saying. Uh, expressways freak me out too. Atlanta meltdown for me. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if I have a panic disorder in driving because I, I really don't feel like that. But like I said, it can get a little, a little scary for me. <laughs> it's just me. If people ask you for directions, what you tell them? Just curious. If they ask me for directions, I say, um, honey, I don't know. <laughs> or my window is up and I don't answer you. I'm just looking at you like I, I don't see you because I don't want to risk pulling, uh, rolling my window down and you trying to rob me. <laughs> so I'm answering your question, Derek. <laughs> Nowadays, you can't even roll your window down to answer a question like that. But if somebody asks me for directions, I would have to say, I don't know. <laughs> or I do like this. Where's my foot? Look, I do like this throughout the window. I do. <laughs> Google it. Google it with my window up. Google, you Google it. You figure it out. You figure it out. I can't help you. I, 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 I'll drive you right into, <laughs> right into the cornfield. <laughs> Christopher said, I'm not road rage. I'm not going to lose my... <laughs> yeah, pull it, tell them pull it up on Google Maps. That's what I'll do. I'll put the phone. Google it. <laughs> that, that's, and then let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So my husband will be driving. This My husband will be driving and... He'll be like, wait, he'll be like, I know she ain't taking me the wrong way. He's talking about uh, Siri or, or whoever it is that does the GPS. He'd be like, I know she ain't taking me the wrong way. He's like, that is not the right way. And I'm thinking, see, now if that was me, I would be totally freaked out. And my husband laughs so hard. Like, girl, you are a mess. But... Or he'll be like this. He'll be like, uh-uh. Like Siri will be talking. And he'll be like, uh-uh. I'm not going that way. She's taking me the long way. And I'm like, what if that was me? I always say that. I always say, what if that was me? He's like, I know. I don't know. <laughs> I know, Christopher. Yep. Yeah. Dakota, turn that fan off because it's like uh, it's like 20 degrees in here. What are you cooking Thursday? Um, would you guys just like me to choose? And if, if you would, I can choose. Now, if you want to vote on it, we can vote on it. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to vote on it? Do you, do you guys? <laughs> Deep fried cockroaches. <laughs> yes, we did vote for a recipe yet. No, we didn't. Um, you choose. Okay, you choose. Okay. Google is good in directions. Yeah, yeah. I came back in time. Didn't miss the voting. Okay. Uh, nervous driving. Has me talking to myself for listening to music. <laughs> Okay. Oh, a lot of people are saying you choose. 
Um, so I was sitting here thinking that there's a whole lot of people that wanted to do stuff bell peppers. Do you guys want to do stuff bell peppers? It's just a yes or no. If I see seven straight seven people that says yes, I'm doing stuffed bell peppers. I, I feel like the world wants stuffed bell peppers. Oh yeah, you stuff beef in it. Uh huh. Yes, I love stuffed bell peppers. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have seen the show. Okay. I'm admiring your eyeliner. Thank you. Here's what we're going to do. You never did the stuffed bell peppers when we voted before. I'm going to do stuffed bell peppers on Thursday. Six. I was going to do four. <laughs> stuffed bell peppers on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And when you purchase your bell peppers, I want you guys to get the different colored bell peppers. And I'm gonna, it's it, again, it's a very quick recipe. It's something that's gonna be delicious. Even the kids love it, okay? So, you said, or cabbage. I've made stuffed cabbage before, but I'm not gonna make that right now. We're gonna do stuffed bell peppers on Thursday, okay? Stuffed bell peppers, it, Dakota, make sure the air's not on. I'll turn the heat on 72. I, I mean, I'm like an icicle in here. Come here, boo-boo. Have you watched at least five years? Oh, Gina, I have watched you at least five years. You're awesome. Beautiful personality, thank you. Uh, okay, so it's set in stone that um, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be making stuffed peppers, okay? Stuffed peppers like the world loves it. And I'm gonna show you how to make it easy. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be quick too. Now, a lot of people don't know this trick. I'm gonna tell you a, 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 a good trick about this. You're gonna get yours, okay. Get different color ones. Now, you know how you have a bell pepper that can sit up this way, you know, and then you got the, the stem. Imagine that's the stem. <laughs> this is the bottom of the bell pepper, right? A lot of people like to cut the top off and stuff the inside, right? I found a new way if you just turn it this way. <laughs> Check me out. Slice that baby across the top and you can feel this part. So I'll, I'll check with you guys to see which way you would like to do it, but, but this way and cutting half of it off and stuffing this part is so much fun. Um, but what I was going to say is, um, a lot of people don't know when you're making stuffed bell peppers, when you're making stuffed bell peppers, I want you all to blanch and what blanches is kind of boil the bell pepper after we cut it and take the innards out of the bell pepper. You're going to blanch it for a few minutes in some hot boiling water. Then we're going to take it out. Of the water right then we're gonna stuff it with all the good stuff put it in the oven right the pepper will be nice and cuttable you ever had a stuffed pepper and the pepper wasn't cooked so you just ate the inside I'm gonna have this to where your pepper is gonna be nice and soft and you can enjoy the pepper as well so when you go to eat it you can cut down into the pepper and eat the filling because we made a pepper that's nice and soft I hate when people make a stuffed bell pepper and they don't pre-cook the bell pepper before stuffing it because the oven doesn't get it nice and soft. But if you cook it, if you boil it first, just for a few minutes, then you stuff it, then you bake it, it's so soft, okay? So that's my trick and it's so exciting and um, you're gonna love this. Now, when we make them, I want you all to feel free to put some Italian sausage in there, um, ground Italian sausage, um, sweet sausage, whatever kind of sausage or meat you want. That's what I want you guys to get. And I'm going to really be clear in my directions. Um, 
possibilities of things that you can put in it, okay? Because I'm definitely going to be putting some type of ground sausage in there. It is a great idea. Who's saying that? Christopher, yeah. Oh, you make a stuffed pepper casserole. It does. Oh, yeah. And um, we, we will be using, like, um, a tomato sauce. And if you guys want to put cheese on it, you can. Bacon in the oven. I'm, I'm talking about talk about some good flavor and quick in a hurry. And a meal that doesn't cost a lot. That's going to be stuffed peppers, okay? I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm excited. I, what I wanted to do, the reason why I already had that planned in my head is because you guys have been asking for it, but nobody has chosen to, to vote on it. You know, so it hasn't been winning. <clears throat> and so that's why I wanted to do the uh, meatballs because it was in the same category. It's delicious, easy to make, quick and simple, doesn't cost a lot. But nobody was voting on it. So I had to say, boom, we're going to do it. You know what I mean? Y'all wanted to see it, but for some reason they wasn't voting on it. So that's how the peppers is happening. And then, oh, you can use Beyond Meat. Yes, you can. <clears throat> and then um, I'll decide what we're going to do on Saturday, and I'll let y'all know. I, I seriously was thinking about making a pumpkin pie. I seriously was thinking about it. A pumpkin or a sweet potato pie on Saturday. I was really, really thinking about it. What do you guys think about that? I, I'm just asking for thoughts. I'm not saying if that's what you want to see on or what am I, how am I saying this? What do you think about me doing that on Saturday? Okay, yeah, Mary says pumpkin pie. Uh-huh. Gina, you're a trooper for pushing forward. I know that you're not feeling well. God bless you. Listen, listen, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And I ask God every day for the strength, the courage, and the will to do what we do. And the energy and to help me to feel better. And you just have to believe it, receive it, and retrieve it. And you will. And like I told you guys yesterday, this too shall pass. I didn't feel good, but today I feel even better. So... You know, just keeping a, a, a little bit of faith. A little bit of faith. Okay, so somebody said no pumpkin pie, but I'm getting some pumpkin pies. Now, uh, there's some people saying sweet potato pie. Now, here's the thing. What I do want you guys to know. Um, whether we make a sweet potato or a pumpkin pie, um, the way I make sweet potato and pumpkin pie is the complete same, right? Except for one, you'll be using sweet potatoes. The other, you'll be using pumpkin pie. In the pumpkin pie, we use a nice amount of nutmeg. In the sweet potato pie, we don't use a whole lot of nutmeg. So, whether, no matter which one I make, you can use the same recipe for the other, okay? And either a little bit more nutmeg or less nutmeg, okay? So I'm going to decide on one of them. My purpose for deciding on pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie is because the holidays is near. Everybody's itching for those holiday recipes, and I want to kind of get you guys excited for the holiday. So I think on Saturday we'll be doing one or the other, pumpkin or sweet potato pie, and we'll make two 9-inch pans. I think it's 9-inch. But guess what? It's so easy. It's not, it's not, it's not hard to make. It doesn't cost a lot. And you whip it up real quick. Once it's whipped up, it goes in the oven. And guess what? Done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I, I'm getting a lot of people saying pumpkin. Some people saying sweet potato. But what I'll do, I'll go through these comments again. I always do. Um, go through the comments again a little later tonight. And see what people are saying they want the most. Okay? But like I said, feel free for the people that want sweet potato or whether you want pumpkin. Just remember, that same recipe that I will be making, you just switch out pumpkin for sweet potatoes. Okay? Is there such thing as an eggnog cheesecake? There could be, and that sounds good. 
There could be. Dakota, do me a favor. Turn the oven on 350. Turn the oven on 350. Wash your hands and put my pie in the oven. Mm -hmm. Put it on a cookie sheet. Wash your hands up real good. Yeah, Veronica says pumpkin. Oh, you was born on Halloween. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you said he was born on Halloween. Okay. You was born on Halloween. Oh, my goodness. I'm not eating pumpkin pie until Thanksgiving. Oh, you're not eating? Okay, okay. But I'm, I'm totally getting ready for the holidays. I'm, I'm writing down things that you guys want to get, things that you all, get a cookie sheet, things that you all want to see. I'm going to need for you all to put, you could do it now if you want, mm -hmm. put in this chat 350 in a cookie sheet and you put the cake in there or, or, or look on the back and see how long we got to cook it. Put it on a cookie sheet. Um, give me ideas of everything that y'all want to see. Oh, hold on guys, I'm reading something. Okay. 425, remove the plat. let me see. Remove, come, come close. Remove the plastic wrapper, set it on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven. I'll take it out when it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love you. You need a... Okay, what's wrong, honey? You okay? I love you. So you need a thermostat or a thermometer? Why is she so funny? Why are you so funny? You know I know what I'm talking about. No, you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. You said thermostat. Do you need a thermostat or a thermometer? What is the difference? You need a thermometer for what the fish tank. The the a thermostat, a thermostat, a thermostat is the thing where we control the air conditioning and oh, the right, heat. Right, right, right. <laughs> you need one of those for the fish tank? What? You a thermostat. The yeah. <laughs> okay. You need a thermometer. <laughs> I need a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're laughing. <laughs> All right, be careful, baby. All right, ready. Okay, 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 listen. What pie do you like? Christopher, I like pumpkin and I like um, sweet potato, but I, I do feel like um, when it comes to different cultures, different cultures grew up on different things. Um, like I, I like to say a lot of African Americans, they um, grew up for the holidays, they like the sweet potato. You know, and a lot of, um, <clears throat> Yeah, you said you too. And a lot of Caucasian people, they like pumpkin pie because that's what they grew up having for their holidays. And so it would totally be so funny if I came on here and I made a sweet potato and pumpkin pie mixed together <laughs> and to see how it turns out because I'm in between of which one I want to make. <laughs> but no, seriously. And then even like uh, African and Puerto Rican, they like uh, pumpkin. You know, they like sweet potato. Like there's so many different cultures like different things because they grew up having it for the holidays. Um, and I definitely want to show everybody, no matter who they are, um, how to make the pumpkin pie, how to make the sweet potato pie, how to make, listen, I want to learn how to make a pumpkin roll. I don't know how to make it, but one day you're going to see me on here making it because I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to perfect it, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make it. She said it would be a great mixed pie. <laughs> oh, let's make a rhubarb pie. It's not a thermostat stinker. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> be careful. Be careful, honey. No, you need a thermometer. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about a pumpkin bread? Pumpkin bread. Ooh, wait. Talk about good. Try it first and make it. Absolutely. No, you don't have to. So let me see it, and I'm going to show the people. Okay, notification. Somebody's in the driveway. Is that your dad? Yeah, okay. 
So this is what Dakotas can Ray throw in. It's a southern apple pie. Um, put it in 425 until it's done. And then y'all got ice cream to put on top of it, okay? Mm. But now, oh, here's what I need. I need the front and the back porch turned on. Um, the lights. And I need the kitchen clean. Your dad did, your dad, what'd he do? Did some dishes? Okay, I need you to put the spices up, okay? And wipe the counter down with a little bit of pine salt. Those need to cook for 60 to 70 minutes. I love that, Ron. Ron says, I think that's what makes America great. Different foods from different cultures. I love that. Absolutely. That's so true. That is so true. Yeah. If you use the same ingredients, you can't tell the difference, says D Saturday. Well, D Saturday, some people feel like, let's see, how do I answer that D Saturday? Some people, where's my puppies at? Okay. Some people feel like they can taste the difference. Me? I can't taste the difference in pumpkin and sweet potato. Oh, but what I do know about, D Saturday, you really have a great point. But what I do know is in pumpkin, they use a little bit more nutmeg. Sweet potato, they don't use a lot of nutmeg. Okay. Do they taste the same to Gina Young? They taste the same to me, D Saturday. They taste the exact same, right? But some people say, I can taste that it's pumpkin, or I can taste that it's not sweet potato, you know? So, you know, I love them both. I love them both. And the pumpkin is very healthy for you, and so is the sweet potato. We're going to figure this out. But, oh, here's what I need you guys to do. So Adija says, not me. <laughs> okay, listen. I do. I love every culture's food. I sure do. I love every culture's food. It is a slight difference, and that's Tyrese. Oh, I thought that was Tyrese. Is Tyrese still in here? I haven't heard a message from him. Um, with whipped cream. Yes, my husband loves whipped cream on his pumpkin or his sweet potato pie. Yeah, see, now Christopher's saying same ingredients, they taste the same. <laughs> now, um, here's what I, I want y'all to do. Turn around. Throw out some uh, recipes that you all, and then tonight... I'm gonna look at the time that we're on right now, okay? And I'll go back and see what you guys are requesting. When you request it, I'm gonna write it down because I wanna throw out new, new, fun, easy recipes for your Thanksgiving, okay? So if you can start telling me right now what you wanna be seen, I'm gonna try to put as many, like, you know, for the holiday, Gina Young shows all out. I mean, I must show you guys how to make over 30-something dishes. Or more. <laughs> I don't know how many. Tell me what you want to see. I see baklava. Okay, that's the first one coming in. That, I love baklava. All right, green bean casserole. If Gina could get me to like green uh, uh, bread pudding... <laughs> then you will like her pumpkin and sweet potato pie. That's right, Ron. <laughs> Corn pudding and mini pies. All right, throw, 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 throw the recipes out here. Let me know. And then later, I see the carrot cake, strawberry shortcake. Okay. Let me know what you guys want to be, what you guys want to see this holiday season. And I'm tonight, when me and my husband get into bed, me and him both, we'll be reading the messages, writing it down. So we can prepare for November to do this stuff for you all, okay? Oh, Christopher, you are missing out. The corn pudding that I make, you got, um, Christopher, look at my video for how to make, uh, I call mine scalloped corn. It's not a pudding, so to speak. Um, I don't know why they call it that. Mine's is called scalloped corn. You got to check it out. Scallop corn, corn putty, a lot of people make it different. Some people make it with Jiffy cornbread. I don't, but delicious. 
All right, throw me some uh, recipes, or, or not recipes. Oh, different cookies, okay. Eggnog, you know I do that. Yes, it is, Ron, you know, you know it is. Thank you, Ron. You said, I'll look at the video. Okay, yeah, I know you're gonna love it. Cheesecake, I definitely have to do that for you all, okay. Sweet potato pie and pecan pie, okay. Broccoli rice casserole for, for Thanksgiving? Okay. Okay. A good stuffing would be great. Okay, let me see who's saying that. Kimber, okay. Seafood dressing? Okay. Leek and artichoke bread pudding. All right. German chocolate cake. Hummingbird cake. Okay, I'm looking at all the stuff coming in from you all. I'll be in a diabetic... <laughs> <laughs> you said I'll be in a diabetic coma. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Next drinks. Okay. A good stuffing will be great. Okay. Chess pie, raisin cookies, chicken, broccoli, and rice, chocolate pie, apple crisp, fried pickles and mushrooms, oatmeal cook. Now, this is for Thanksgiving now. This is the stuff that I'm wanting you to request for Thanksgiving. Okay, lamb chop. Dakota, you did not turn the lights on. You can keep the office window open tonight. Cherry delight. Oh, black eyed peas. Ginger snap cookies. All right. Love your energy and your hard work. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying hard. Listen, with God on my side, I can do all things. You hear me? Thank you for coming in and joining us. Scalloped potatoes, that's a good one. Will um, it have rice in the bell pepper? Yes, it will. But if you don't want rice, a pumpkin roll, let me see. Okay. Spice rum cake, I'll definitely be doing that, right? I'll be in a food coma. <laughs> Peking duck, loaded potato soup. Okay. Mashed potatoes, egg custard, green bean casserole, baked ham or dressing. Oh, yeah. See, now these are good ones. And like I said, like I need you guys to put this in the in the chat. And then I can go right to the time. I see the time frame. I can go right to the time, see what you guys are requesting, and my husband can write it down. I can write it down. A tomato pie, real mashed potatoes. Yes, oh yeah, look, uh-huh, somebody slid it in. The fried, the infamous fried turkey. I'm not doing a fried turkey. I'm not doing a fried turkey. I'm not gonna do a fried turkey. <laughs> Sweet potato pie, buttermilk pie, Cinnabons. Monkey bread, rhubarb pie, lemon meringue, oxtails. Unless I'm doing, ooh, cornbread. How simple, but I feel like the world needs it, you know? Let's see, you're getting so hungry. I'm, <laughs> he said, I'm getting so hungry, I'm floating on air. <laughs> Oyster dressing, how about it? Listen, Ron, and I even figured out so my grandma Seward, my grandma Seward, the one that used to live in Chillicothe uh, when I was younger, she would make oyster prints. Get in here. Get up there and sit down. <laughs> get, get up there. Sit your butt down. Let me see. Look at him. He ain't listening. Okay. What are you doing, Prince? Where was you getting ready to go? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, Lord, here they come. Okay, no, listen. Um, what the heck was I about to say? Oh, oh, so I figured out my grandma Seward, she made a beautiful oyster dressing during the holidays. I'd like to say Thanksgiving, and I think I've learned how to perfect her, not how to perfect it, how to make oyster dressing like she did. Because I felt like the last oyster dressing that I made, it didn't taste like Grandma Seward's. 
So now I have a new way that I'm gonna do it, and I'm so happy with this recipe and I'm excited to share it. So you'll see that, Ron. The dogs are smiling. We got, oh, we gotta have deviled eggs. You're right about that. Do you stuff the inside of the turkey? I don't, and honestly, they tell you nowadays not to because they say it's not safe. Yeah, we did it for many years when we all were younger and your parents did it and things like that, but it does give the turkey an uneven cooking consistent, cooking, I don't know if I wanna say consistency. It does give your turkey uneven cookness, cookness. <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to say that, but what I'm saying is with that turkey being stuffed, the inside of that turkey where it was stuffed has a hard time cooking. And your oven has a hard time trying to get that done unless you overcook your turkey. So I suggest, I, it's just my suggestion. I suggest making your uh, dressing on the side. Make your dressing on the side. You can still eat the two together, you know. Okay, but then you might say, but Gina, this is me talking in, in, in third person. Well, but Gina, I, I want my dressing to taste like turkey. Well, if you want to taste like turkey, what you're gonna do while your turkey is cooking, you go in and you grab some of that turkey juice or the juice from your giblets and your necks and stuff cooking and you pour that juice on top of your dressing to make it taste like turkey, okay? But we're gonna go through all this. We're gonna go through all this. We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do it all. Although most of it is already in the playlist because I do this every year, but some people say, I'm not going to watch the playlist. I want to see it brand new. I want to see a new version. Well, I'm going to show you a new version every single year. Giblet gravy, you bet, Jeannie. Jeannie, I always make giblet gravy. Uh, my mom used to make it. Um, Grandma Seward used to make it. The grandma that made the, uh, the yeast dinner rolls that lived in Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, I can't have a holiday without, I can't have a Thanksgiving without giblet gravy. So I always make it. Homemade eggnogs. Yes, Mildred, you know I'm making it. I love making dressing. Thanks for the advice, Gina. Oh yeah, listen, I'm gonna show you everything and guess what else is good in dressing? Um, the celery, of course, the onions, and I add a little bit of bell peppers. Years ago, let's just put it this way. Years ago, when you saw your parents cooking, you always saw them saute up onions and celery. At least that, that comes to my memory. They would saute up a whole bunch of onions and celery because you would need it for different things. Whether that would be your giblet gravy or that would be your dressing. Well, now I put a little bit of bell pepper in it and it really brings your uh, dressing alive you know, if you like it. So now I saute up my onions, my celery, and some bell peppers, and when it's done sauteing and a little bit of butter, I have it aside for when I'm getting ready to make my gravy. Some goes in the gravy, some goes in the dressing. If I wanna put it in, I, why am I doing this? <laughs> if I wanna put it in something else, then I put it in something else. Chitlins, I got to make you guys some chitlins because the world is axing. I'm going to, I will, I don't know if it's going to happen this, uh, you know, this Thanksgiving, but I will be making some. Oh, fried corn. Okay. If you don't spike your eggnog, don't invite us. Oh my goodness, Deborah. <laughs> I'm going to invite you <laughs> and I don't spike it. <laughs> I'm inviting you specifically. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't spike it. I don't spike the eggnog, but you can spike your own when you come here. I'm gonna show you. All right, let's see. Oh, let's see. Hold on. A uh, couple of things that we have. Hold on. Let's see if I can find one. I don't know if I have it over here. You can spike your own. If you were to come over here, and have some of my eggnog. You can spike your own. We have a couple of different things. One second. We have
have rum and, and things like that that you could spike your own with? Uh, shoot, we got, we, got a whole, we got a whole collection of things where you could spike your own. I don't like, the reason why I don't like to spike it is because, you know, we get, you know, I don't want the alcohol. Dakota doesn't want the alcohol. But if you were to come and drink some of my eggnog, we would say, hey, you know, if you want to put something in it, go ahead and enjoy it. <laughs> we have things like that for, for people like you. <laughs> this is the, uh, if it's not spiked, I don't want it. <laughs> Yes, whipped cream definitely on top, Jeannie. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Uh, that's a great one. Um, I would like to say a bourbon. If I was to put something in there, I'd like to say a bourbon or a rum. If I make a rum cake, I'm using like a dark rum. I don't know whatever kind. I'll tell my husband to go pick some up and he'll pick it up. I don't really know the name brand, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely you could use that. I like raspberry cheesecake cookies, but you never made them. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay, that's really interesting. Peach cobbler, chocolate souffle. I'm getting all kinds of um, ideas. I haven't seen anybody say that you want to see cinnamon on the top of eggnog. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Carrot, raisin salad. Yeah. Apple crisp, coffee cake and scones, lemon bars. I need to make another lemon bar. I made a lemon bar when I was uh, when I first started the channel in 2017. And um, I, I think I deleted it because I wasn't happy the way it turned out. It's supposed to be this tall and then mine's was maybe this tall. So I think I got rid of that video, but I will definitely be making that again. Carrot souffle. And an apple cobbler, okay. Pistachio pudding, yum. I'm talking about scalloped potatoes. I'm talking about sweet potato casserole here. Baked macaroni. Banana pudding. I ain't seen this stuff. I haven't seen you guys. Y'all, I haven't seen y'all throwing that stuff out there like that. Nobody said greens. Cream cheese brownies. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Ambrosia salad. Absolutely. I know. It is so many. Like you said, Raymond, so many. The brookie, yeah. Pumpkin cookies, yum. I just figured you would make them anyways. Oh, okay. Banana nut bread, uh-huh. Hot water corn bread, okay. Look, okay. Green bean casserole, Oreo dump cake. Wow. So many different things. But I tell you what, I, I have a treat for y'all because I really am. I'm going to go all out and beyond. I know that the price of food is going to be through the roof because inflation is inflation is real. You can't even get a gallon of milk for a regular price that we all remember. Listen, listen here. Woo! So I can imagine 
what the price of this food is about to be. Because, you know, they're going to yank the prices up. They don't care. They don't care. They're going to yank them prices up. And they're going to say they want it for the holiday. They're going to get it. Definitely making the homemade cranberry sauce. <laughs> Can you make a punch drink? I, I will. I'll figure that out. Watergate salad, absolutely. Uh, so let's all just go to Miss Gina Young's. <laughs> Mary says, let's go to Gina's for a holiday. That would be totally nuts. I, can, I could imagine you all coming here. I could. Oh, the float with the sherbet. That's what my Grandma Seward's family would do. They would have the Hawaiian punch. Okay, listen, it would be Hawaiian punch, 7-Up, and then it would be the sherbet ice cream for the drink for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, yes, it would be. I'm just blotting the oil off of my face because my face gets so stinking oily. I can't. I can't deal with the oil on my face. I know, let me see, I know you have a video on potato salad, but what about bacon and kielbasa potato salad? Um, that, that, it, it sounds interesting. I would be more towards the bacon. Um, the bacon would go on the lines of my, um, loaded potato salad that I make. It has bacon in it. Oh, that's your grandmom's recipe too. Okay, Karen, yeah. Turkey this year is going to be through the roof. You know it is. You know it is. Uh-oh, hold on, guys. Okay. I'll use the squirt instead of 7-Up. Yeah, I like that too. How do you cook a turkey, says Alan. Alan, when I'm making my turkey, I like to totally, so I like to take my fingers, these four fingers here, and right there where the opening of the turkey is, um, I like to put my fingers between the skin. The skin is right here. The meat is right here. You put your fingers through here and you lift up that skin, okay? So I'm going all the way through with my fingers and I'm doing like this with the skin because I want to lift that skin up off the meat. So if this is the meat down here, this is my fingers and this is the skin. I like to loosen up the skin all through the top of the turkey. I take a handful of butter, I really do. And I butter that breast underneath the skin. I butter the thighs. I got so now at this point, my fingers are underneath that turkey skin. Okay, the skin is up here. Or, you know, skin is right here. My hands is here and the turkey meat's here. I got my fingers and I'm smearing butter all through that turkey breast. So my turkey breast stays nice and seasoned and it also stays juicy. But I go in with the mult, uh, multitude, multitude. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. I go in with a lot of spices. One of the spices being a little bit of sage, the dried sage, poultry seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder. You know, I may think of a couple other seasonings, but really go in and get seasoning underneath the skin, seasoning all over your bird and um, just making sure you clean it very well and you take those giblets out of the neck, you know, cause you'll have like the hearts and the gizzards in the neck sitting in the bag. And sometimes there's a gravy bag in there too. So you always wanna take that out. Get it nice and buttered and seasoned and throw it in the oven. I, you can put foil on top of your turkey. You can throw it in without foil. You can cook your turkey in a bag. I've done it all types of ways. Um, and I, I tend to do the version where my turkey is cooked in a bag. Turns out juicy every time. I'm thinking, God, now for what is he going to do? 
I have a friend that's raising a lot of turkeys. I'm going to order mine from her. Nothing better than fresh turkey. Oh, Jackie. Wow, that sounds good. Lemon chicken. Oh, that sounds good. How do you clean the turkey? Just like you would clean chicken. Um, we're going to put it under some cold water, of course, and pluck any feathers that may need to be plucked. And um, you need to look inside of the turkey to make sure that there's no ice and to make sure that your turkey is fully thawed out. And then we just go in rinsing it very well. Sometimes I'll use salt in my hand as an abrasion to rub onto the turkey like this to get that turkey nice and clean. I go in and clean the inside, pull any unwanted pieces of fat. And you'll know what fat looks like because it's just a big clump of yellow. You know, get rid of that. Take any feathers that need to be pulled out. Pull it out, give it a nice rinse, and then dry it down with a paper towel and put it onto a cookie sheet. And then you can proceed from there, you know. But that's how I clean my turkey. Um, sometimes you'll see me use a little bit of lemon and I'm using that half cut lemon here in my hand and I'm just doing this with the lemon in my hand. You know, I'm cleaning the whole turkey just like so, you know, with the lemon. Uh-huh. And then you rinse it off and it, it gives it a great flavor and gets it nice and squeaky clean. All right, Dakota, you got to uh, do what I asked you to do. I asked you to do something and you didn't listen. I know. What do you mean? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Uh-uh. So, I want you to straighten up a little bit, please. Okay? They say fat. Fat is flavor, but I don't think you want fat on your turkey, you know? <laughs> you don't want fat on your turkey. Make sure you get the inside giblets and such out before you cook it. You bet. There was one year. Let's talk about it because this is so funny. So now, um, I had to work. And, you know, I'm the cook. Um, and so I told my husband, I said, well, here's what you can do. I had things prepared like the day before. But like I said, I must have been in my 20s. I'd like to say I was. Uh, I had everything out. A lot of stuff was prepared the day before. I told my husband, because I had to work. I don't know how long I had to work, but I was working a long time. And we still wanted our turkey. We still wanted our holiday food. And I said, this is when we were younger. This is when we were younger, much, much, much younger. And I said, by the time I get home, hey, the turkey will be done if you can go ahead and season it. Get it going, get it in the oven. I come home, the turkey is seasoned, the house smells good, the oven is going, and I look at my turkey and the bag was still in the turkey. And I said, oh, Lord. I said, oh, my goodness. And guess what I did? I took the bag out. <laughs> I took the bag out quick as I did, quick as I came home. And he said, I'm so sorry. And he apologized. I said, it's okay. You know, I probably gave him a hug and a kiss because it was okay. And um, they probably make, I, I don't know if they make those bags to where it, it didn't melt. Let's just put it that way. I got it out. We finished cooking the turkey. We had a beautiful, <laughs> we had a beautiful holiday, but that was interesting. <laughs> and he remembers that too. <laughs> yeah, he remembers that. But like I said, we were young. <laughs> Eggnog pound cake. Yum. Hold on, guys. I'm, I'm just signing out my computer here. Wipe the uh, counters down with a little bit of pine salt, okay? Your dad already did the dishes. Gina, how about oven roasted pumpkin seeds? I, it's not something that I usually do. Um, Dakota just said they're good. Um, when we, I used to do it when the kids were little. 
um, to give them something to do after we carve the pumpkin, you know, for Halloween or whatever. I like to roast them with a little bit of salt, brown sugar, and cinnamon, and they're delicious. Um, but you can just roast them with some salt and pepper. Um, I don't do it that often. He said, Dakota said, you ain't done that in years. <laughs> My Aunt Mildred left dishes inside the turkey one year. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Gina, have you ever made a banana pudding cake? You bet I have. You bet I have. Gina Young invented banana pudding cake. That's probably where you're getting it from. I really didn't invent it, but I make it, and I make it all the time. You might want to check the video out. I, I'm going to make a banana pudding uh, this year. I'm going to be making my better than anything cake. Everybody loves it. You want to put those um, pots and stuff away, okay? You get the pine saw. Coffee cake, yum. Y'all bringing it tonight? Yeah, they are. Don't forget to close your blinds. Okay, Dakota. <laughs> oh, she left the dish rag. <laughs> your aunt left the dish rag in the turkey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Good. <laughs> Oh, that's so horrible. But, like, it, it's okay. You know she was cleaning. She was cleaning when she lost all thought. <laughs> she was doing something. That's okay. You heard our story. It ha Things happen. <laughs> Dakota's laughing right now. He said dish rag. Did it taste like pine salt? He said, did it taste like pine salt? <laughs> <laughs> he said, but wouldn't it be clean then? Yeah, it would. That, that was probably some of the best turkey you ever had, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was crazy. The turkey was good, though. <laughs> I know it was. <laughs> Susie Q said, hey, y'all still on here? She said, I see. How did the dish rag get in the turkey? I know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Talk about a stuffed turkey. <laughs> and Dakota said, I was getting ready to say that. My mother-in-law dropped the turkey on the floor <laughs> one Christmas. Oh, she never said a word and served it. Oh, Jackie, that's horrible. Oh, my goodness. You remind me of my mother, sweet as can be. Oh, Ramy, thank you. Oh, man. Okay, what happened? My screen froze. I don't know. I'm still here. I'm looking at you. So, now, there's one thing that I like to make that is really, throw that uh, Prego thing away and put the light, turn the light out where the fish is and the towel and all that. Um, there's one thing that I love and I must make every Thanksgiving because my family loves it. And then I'm going to tell you a funny, this is funny. Now, this is funny. I said your name right. Okay, great. Hey, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, so, I always have to make my um, sweet potato casserole. <sighs> Can you guys see how tired I am? Okay. 
I always have to make my sweet potato casserole, right? Everybody loves it. My husband loves it. Anyone that's ever tried it, they like. Girl, this right here is some good stuff. Put that in the sink in the laundry room. Okay, so one time we had our, my husband's friend came over for, I would like to say it was Thanksgiving. We had the Christmas lights up all through the house. The Christmas tree was up. It was smelling so beautiful in the house, and we were so excited to have him over for um, uh, the holiday. I feel like it was Thanksgiving. I made the whole getup. I made everything, so you can just imagine. I had the sweet potato casserole, too. I I'm just keep emphasizing it because this is what the friend had said. So the friend had never he he didn't he didn't remember my name because uh he i don't think he knew my name you know but after he ate he said this he was like oh hey you know how you know how when somebody's getting ready to leave okay yeah nice to meet you thank you you know you know thanks for having me this was so much fun and he was like oh and he was like um Sweet potato, right? He he says sweet potato, right? No, he say this. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He say sweet potato, right? And he's looking my way. And I'm thinking, and I look at my husband like, I don't know why he's calling me sweet potato, right? I, I was confused. I was totally confused, okay? And so he say sweet potato. He's looking my way. He's looking right at me, the friend. I turn around and my husband's standing right there and I look at my husband like, uh, I don't know why he's calling me that. He say, he say, no, no. He look at my husband. He say, no, no, no. He said, I'm calling, <laughs> he do like this. I'm calling your wife sweet potato because them is some of the best sweet potatoes I ever had in my life and I didn't know her name. <laughs> right? Me and my husband, my husband must have died laughing on the floor. My husband fell on his knees laughing. <laughs> Because he couldn't think of nothing else to call me. But sweet, he had sweet potatoes on his brain. <laughs> because those sweet potatoes were so good. He looked at me and he said, oh, and sweet potato. You know, he, he was like, sweet potato, you know, thank you. <laughs> and then he looked at my, and then he looked at my husband right away. He said, no, no, no. He was like, I, I call her that because I don't remember her name. And some of the, and those sweet potatoes was the best sweet potatoes I ever had in my life. Me and my husband died. We was on the floor. We was on the floor laughing. We will never forget that. <laughs> we'll never. I was so uncomfortable when he said that. I was so, I just looked at my husband right away like, I don't know why he's calling me that. My husband's looking confused like. He said, no, no, no. I just didn't know your wife's name. And those were some of the best sweet potatoes I ever had in my life. <laughs> Boy, we will never forget that because it was funny. But when it comes to making sweet potato, I have to make those every year. My husband likes them hot. He likes them warm. He likes them cold with Cool Whip on them. And he tells me that it tastes like sweet potato pie to him. But I put like this brown sugar and I put crushed pecans and vanilla and butter. And it's like a souffle because I whip up the sweet potatoes like you would mashed potatoes. So it's kind of like mashed sweet potatoes at the bottom. And then on the top, you have like a layer this thick of this pecan brown sugar uh, crumble that we put on top. Listen. Listen, talk about good. It has to be on my holiday list every year. It has to be. <laughs> you said, guess so. Yeah, yeah. What are y'all doing? Go sit down. <laughs> it does. It is delicious. <laughs> Shirley Betsy. Shirley is laughing. <laughs> what dish can be served hot or cold? Uh, when a dish can be, yeah. Oh, so seriously, 
you said when a dish can be served hot or cold. It's so good. Um, if you eat it cold, it's almost like eating it like a sweet potato pie. You know, put some Cool Whip or some ice cream on it. If it's at room temperature, it's delicious. If it's steaming hot, it's delicious. So it, it's just the best. If you are a person that you say, I'm not good at making desserts, then I would tell you, here's what you do. Make my sweet potato casserole. Don't worry about the desserts. The people can eat your sweet potato casserole and that will serve the purpose as a, as a dessert. I'm so serious when I tell you this. I'm so serious. My Holy King says fried chicken. There will be people this year um, for the holidays. Pe I feel like people this year are going to switch up a lot of things for their holiday. You know, the economy has changed. Different things have changed. And I feel like the holidays are just not going to be the same holidays that we all remember. Excuse me, because of inflation and the economy and different things and and the C, you know what the C O, you you, you know what that is, C O V. You can finish spelling the rest because of that. Um, things are going to be different, you know. And y'all better. When I say better, I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do, but um, you want to make sure, like, if you're going to be around a big crowd, make sure that you and your family are protected. You know. Making sure you wear a mask or making sure you just kind of grab something and go, maybe. I don't know. Or just saying, you know, I'm happy to see everyone, but I can't stay. You know, go in with your mask. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. But just doing everything you can, everything you, you can do to stay safe, you know. Because nowadays we still got to stay safe nowadays. <laughs> Even though a lot of people says, oh, it's gone, but it's not. <laughs> it ain't gone. Eli, is that Eli? Is that your name? Eli says facts. <laughs> a chicken for Thanksgiving? Absolutely. I do feel like people are going to change some things. There could be some people having pizzas or lasagna. Um, you know, I just feel like Thanksgiving is going to be different this year. I really do. Oh, yeah, a baby turkey? Absolutely. You could do just like a small breast for you. You, you know. Oh, you got it last year and three weeks ago. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad to see you here and that you're healthy, you know. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Yes, on Thursday. Uh, Sander time. Jeannie Young will be going live. We're making stuffed peppers, and we're going to have a fun time doing it, okay? Oh, smoked turkey legs. See, there's some different things. I know that everybody's going to be doing some different stuff. Some people might make a casserole for the holiday, you know, and then just get together with family and maybe bake some cookies or something, you know. Yes, I understand, B. Sanford. Totally understand what you're saying, you know. Yeah, I understand. You said it costs so much because it does. It does, it does, it does. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a um, Cornish hen recipe that you guys would love that recipe. And it's just really about putting some good spice onto them Cornish hens. And everybody can have their own Cornish hen and enjoy it. You know, make up some macaroni and cheese and some green beans and you guys are set. You know, get a frozen, uh, frozen dessert, you know. Oh, Holy King spam for Thanksgiving. Hey. <laughs> Ron says hello to Kayla. Thank you for coming in, Kayla. <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed today. I'm so glad that you were able to make it today, Ron. Thank you to both of my moderators, which is uh, Sonia 
and Ron. We appreciate both of you. I love all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. If I did not welcome you, welcome to all of the returning subscribers. You guys are part of my family. I enjoy every waking moment that I get to spend with you all here on YouTube. It's, I am so grateful that um, and thankful for YouTube for giving me this platform to be able to share all of my inside cooking secrets and fun times and anything that I'm sharing with you guys. Um, I'm gonna get ready to get off of here. I want you all to keep in mind on Thursday, we're going live 6 p.m. making stuffed bell peppers, okay? Mildred, I'm glad you're starting to feel a little bit better. Okay, now keep on sending me. Um, Neurally, thank you for coming in. I don't feel like I got to speak to you today. I'm sorry if I did not speak to you or I didn't see you. Um, <clears throat> keep on sending me requests. Or if you just think about uh, what you would like to see for the holiday, write it down. And when we go live again, you put it in there so I can write it down so we can make it, okay? We're gonna have lots and lots of fun these next coming months, this holiday season. If you guys don't have a family, listen, I'm your family. I'm your family. Gina Young, I'm gonna be spending my holiday with you guys. I'm gonna be cooking with you. I'm gonna be cooking for you. And when I say for you, I'm gonna be cooking. You guys can see me. We're gonna be doing um, possibly a lot more live cooking so you all can cook along with me. We're gonna have such a great time this year, okay? I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. We are not gonna get off of here without a big old hug. All right, give me a big hug. Give me a big old hug. I love you guys so much. I am so stinking tired. <laughs> guys, I'm tired. Although, I, I, I didn't get to show you all Remember the fish tank? I did a video on it, the new fish tank there. Oh, I got a bucket. Let's take the bucket out the thing. But we got the new fish tank. All of these fish are the fish that were in the 100 gallon tank. We had a, <clears throat> we think it was an ammonia spike. And at 3 in the morning, my husband woke me up, guys. Oh, Lord. 3 in the morning, my husband woke me up. And he's like, baby, all of the fish are at the bottom, and they look like they can't breathe. And I said, oh, my God. That's what I said. <laughs> right? I got up. And he gave me a big old kiss, and he said, thank you, baby. What do we do? I said, we're going to take them out that tank, and we're going to put them in here. He said, what about my new fish that I'm getting on Saturday? I said, we're not getting them yet. <laughs> I said, let's get this under control. Let's figure out how to take care of them. And then we'll get the new fish. He was like, but I already got this tank. I said, we'll just, hey, we'll, we'll work it out. We got all things as possible. We prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we called some, uh, like a professional. And I said, let's get the fish out. 3 o'clock in the morning, we rushed the fish to this tank, tested the water. This water was good. So all of our fish from that tank is in this tank. And tomorrow, the fish go back in that tank because he's bringing new fish to this tank. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's always something. But guess what? The good Lord is always with us. <laughs> you hear me? And I want you all to look at life that way. It was a tough night. We was up 3 o'clock in the morning, went to bed at 5 o'clock. But here we are. Because God is good, okay? I love you guys. I'm getting off of here. Good night.